What's going on, everybody? Rogers Base here, and welcome to Japan Time Season 3, Episode 14. We're going to call this one the Comfy Time Podcast this week because we only have half of the main cast. We've got, of course, myself, as well as Shofu. Hey, dudes. Hey, Nintendo Gamers! That's, I was literally going to ask for somebody to do that because Coast isn't here. Uh, but Zeph's here. Hi. And uh, we also have McDareth. And what's up, guys? Four of us are joined by a very special guest this week, the Internet's number one Ridley fan, <laughs> Rapture. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Thank <laughs> Good to be here, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's great. I think you've been representing Ridley since the early days of Japan time, when we all said, no, he's going to be a stage hazard, you're crazy. And I remember specifically you had that hashtag, keep dreaming, and you kept that dream alive all the way through the DLC, and finally, your dream came true with Smash Ultimate, so I feel very happy for you. And I think it was it was time for Ridley, honestly, to join the fight. So I'm yeah. happy you got your way. And the funny thing, too, is that, that hashtag, I didn't make that hashtag. JC from Nintendo did, like, to make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran with it. I was like, okay, well. He knew this whole time. Eventually. Yeah. So it worked I, he out. He probably did know. Don't give up on your dreams. Because they will come, you know, they will That's come. That's what I'm saying. Later. Wolf in the game, too. I told everybody. Exactly. Exactly. And I never oh, thought man. Pichu was going to come back. We got Pichu, Pokemon Trainer, Young Link. It's going to be a it's going to be an amazing game. So there's actually quite a bit to talk about, but we're probably going to spend the majority of this episode doing viewer questions. But the very first thing I want to talk about actually has nothing to do with Smash Brothers. This is a, a little debate that was going on in the Discord call before we actually officially started the show, and that is Mario Tennis Aces. Oh, uh, no. Shofu, how do you feel about Mario Tennis Aces? <laughs> I feel like that game's a fucking joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's a fun game, but as far as uh, the actual gameplay and how balanced the game is, it's pretty dumb. But it's fun. Actually, I genuinely enjoy the multiplayer. I really do. I think it's fun to play well, so online with friends. But the single player is quite possibly the most needlessly difficult and unforgivingly challenging game. In all wait, of wait, Nintendo's wait, 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 One wait, of the wait, top Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. You're talking about the adventure mode? Like the actual... Stupid adventure mode, yes. You're crazy. What? Because if you play it like a normal tenant... Let me nah, explain myself. He's crazy. Let me explain myself. No, no, no. You have to game the system, I feel like, to actually win. I think, like, if you play it where you're KOing your opponents, then it's fine. But if you're playing it like an actual tennis game, which I don't think it is. I don't know if you guys talked about this. I don't think it's a tennis game. I think it's a fighting game. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Stop it. It's just uh, Mario. No, but I, I believe it because is. that's the best way to actually beat the game when you're nah, playing it. Roger, Roger, you don't Roger, play like I got some, I got some news for you, man. I think, I think you just trash, bro. Well, to be fair, <laughs> I think no, you just no, to be fair. To be fair to Roger, in the latest patch, they, they toned down the difficulty. That's because oh, that's because your average child was probably having a hard time beating the game. It was so. the two mirror. Are you like, calling me an average child show? It was the yes. two mirror stages that were like not very obvious what you needed to do. They made those a little simpler. Like one mirror of them stages were not bad to me. But part of it is like you have to like lead like the one where you have to hit the gears on the wall. You have to lead them, and if you don't realize that, you're just like, okay, why do I keep missing this? See, that's the only boss, enough though with the zone shots. The only challenge I had with the single player was the IROC fight because the camera was awful and half of his like, so you're on a timer, which is why the boss fights are hard. The boss exactly. fights aren't hard just on paper. It's only hard because of a timer and you lose 10 seconds every time you get hit or, or miss a ball and the boss uh, wastes time. It wastes at least 30 seconds per one of its own attacks where it sends ice flying down towards you. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, there shouldn't be a timer for that because if you get hit a certain amount and he, I think he does that, he does that three times, three right? Times. So you, yeah, you lose times. about 90 seconds out of your 200 something seconds. It's, that's, no, oh, he does it twice. In between, twice? every time you, yeah, every time you hit him, that's like the, okay, so he'll do it. So you lose about 60 seconds. It's a little stupid. But I mean, yeah, the I camera mean, was the problem to, with that. It was a little difficult, but not, either way, it still took me like three, four hours to beat it. <laughs> it's not like, like it's I didn't long. even finish it. It's not I, I, I beat Irock. Said this shit sucks. Dick. It's it's stupid, and anyways. Though, like, I don't think it, I don't think it needs to be easier. I don't think it's difficult. I don't. I just think I need to I just think it's it. dick. I just yeah, think it's, it's fucking cool. garbage. Like, why can't I unlock the, the entire the entire the mode is trash? From no, I want to know why I can't unlock the characters in the story mode by beating them. Why do yeah. I have to wait a month? Wait for the tournament. Yeah, I hate that. Exactly. That shit exactly. is so fucking horrible. Like, I wanted to play Dry Bones, 
But he's not going to be in the game until like December when Smash comes out, so what's the point? You're not going to be playing that at that point, yeah. <laughs> no, the Snow Ogre fight you brought up, I really hated Zeph. That was like one of the moments where I was like, alright, I really don't like this. And it wasn't because it was difficult, it was because it was difficult because of the timer. Like, I knew it wasn't a skill thing. I knew that I was doing the zone shots correctly. I was just literally running out of time. And I hated that. One and then time you go I into those in rally that. challenges with Kamek. The zone shot you I have did, to go back and forth. one time oh on IROC, it went dude. through him. So, fuck that. It's <laughs> terrible. And then the whole, like, the final mission where you have to go through everything. And you have the to final the boss match, is kind of bullshit. Then you get to, the final boss, and then Luigi, where you have to get through the entire <laughs> Luigi thing. Oh, it, it's the worst. Okay, thing. wait, wait. That was Those weren't even that hard. Okay, maybe it's because I actually play the game. Those weren't even that hard. Playing the game. I got all the way up to that point. The difference was that when you got to the Luigi fight, I think that's when things changed. Because you were then trained up to that point to basically knock out your opponents. If you yeah, played you the boom boom fight, do Luigi, but like, and you can't do still, that Luigi, yeah. I don't, I don't know, Roger. Even still, he was ridiculous. He was easy. Like, he took, I did it once. Infinite first charge on his zone shots. Bro. Just keep charging up. Luigi was fine. The, fuck, the Bowser fight just pissed me off. because The Bowser so fight was hard boring. and the one with the hands was hard. Yeah. The Bowser fight the was just boring. And then Blooper was, Blooper was just fucking stupid. Yeah. I don't, I don't. We had to watch and the ones where you had to get a rally of a certain number were also stupid. Like, what the? Bro, the, I, the single player is guess, fucking trash. I guess because I was I was playing the game a lot before I ever even touched the single player, so like literally the only thing I had to retry was Bowser and Kamek. I had to retry once. Everything else I did first try. The game's missing some things that it should have too. Like uh, in the GameCube one, there was a mode where you could play with items and stuff, and it was really fun. And I think if that was a mode I could play online, I'd actually play the game more. But For sure. Like, there's, you you choose, what do you want to do? You want to play simple mode or, or tournament mode? Or do you want to play free play with stage hazards? And the stage hazards don't really do anything. You can turn them off, though. No, it's not no I know. I'm, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I'm yeah, saying yeah, the stage yeah. hazards are a good thing. I like the stage hazards. I like playing with them on because it's, it's more fun. It's different. Sure, yeah. sure. The ship but, mask, though, is actually just evil. Yeah, the mirror stage is probably the best one. <clears throat> I, I, I do like the multiplayer. I really do. I think it's fun to play online. I've been enjoying myself with the tournament mode. I think it'd be fun to play with you guys online, but in terms of single player, I'm just, I'm never touching that again. Yeah, multiplayer, honestly. yeah. The single player, you beat it once and you just, there's no point going back. Like, I, I agree. That was very just like, you know, if you're buying this game to play single player, it's a waste of money. It's a full price game and the single player is two hours if you just do everything. The, the, the problem is like, it's such a shame too because the Game Boy tennis games single player is phenomenal. Amazing, dude! It's so yeah. good. I don't know what happened. I, I was expecting the single player to be like that, but instead, it was. The, the okay. The problem is that it's three hours long, and the only thing it does is reuse stuff from the first world. First yeah. world, you yeah. do this shit. It's the same second shit, world, just how little hard. Different environment. Third world, same thing. Another environment. Like what the fuck. There's yeah, no really, reason it's to really bad, stuff bro. when it's short. It's really fucking bad. I feel yeah. like with this game, like a lot of that's what's weird with this game. A lot of the stuff with this game makes it feel like, like I want to say a budget game, right? Because like the renders are just from the Nintendo website. A lot of character voices are carried over from other games, like either the other tennis games or like other Smash games. Rosa's side trick is the sound of her upbeat from Smash Four. There's like, yeah, in tournaments you only play on you basically play on one stage with different versions of the same stage, but every version has the same song. So if you're playing tournaments online, you're gonna hear the same song over and over and over again. Yeah. I'll forgive Rosalina's yeah, way the trick month... sound though, because that's like not only is that her up B, I mean that's a pretty iconic sound from Mario Galaxy. I mean, but she's not so, like doing... I understand that. No, she's not doing the launch star jump. Yeah, she's not doing still. the launch star. She's just going to the side, and I'm hearing uh, Smash Four sound effects. So it's just like weird. Yeah. I think all right, well, enough about Mario Tennis. Wait, 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 we didn't get to the other part. Don't want to talk about Mario, okay, all right. Online <laughs> is like, that's where I feel like if you want to play this game with people, online's a lot of fun. I'm just sad that, you know, the character that I picked because of the one in the game I like is, a, like, hated by everyone. So because of the way the matchmaking system works, when you queue in, you actually see the person's name and their character and their, like, how good their connection is, and you can choose to not take the match, which is cool because, like, if they have a shitty connection, you don't have to play. You're not stuck to forced to play in it like other sure. games. But what people are doing with it is, if you play any character they don't like, they just skip you. Mm. you or, I'd actually like to see For Glory adopt Mario Tennis's online. No, fuck that. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, it would be cool if I could pick yeah. 
and choose who I want to play against. I don't want to play against as as long as you can't see who what their name is and what character they're using, then I agree. Yeah, I just But in Mario Tennis you can see you can see their you can see their name, you can see their character and you can see their connection. I want to see their connection and that's it. Just show me yeah. like that's how Street Fighter does it. Yes, you know, see, like, I think not, yeah, though. that's fine. I would also like to you know the tournament shit. I think that could be pretty fun. I yeah, think a mode tournament that could be fun. really like, fun. That's really cool to like you match first people in the same spot as you. So like you're yeah. not waiting for people to have to play other matches. You just keep playing. So like, I think that's really cool. I'd like that to be for glory. Kind the of. new patch made it better too because like originally the first three rounds of that tournament were basically all washes like everyone like if you if you were decent at the game you could just walk through everyone the first three rounds to match you with whoever then the last two are like big jumps because there's actually people who've been doing well enough to get that far but now it's like every single match has been close since they made it so there's a rating system so you only play with people near your rating except i end up in 3000 rating so now it takes me like five minutes to find a match and then that match dodges so it takes me like 20 minutes to find a match so you never yeah. said what character do you main? Bowser Jr. That's actually I've been seeing the best character in the Jr. game. Online, yeah. But he seems pretty good, so I would under like. That's why no, people don't want to play against him. Jr. He's very good. That's why you I shouldn't am. be able to see what character you're gonna play. Like what what ranked game shows the character beforehand when it's a to one be on fair, one? I don't think I don't think that would carry over into uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate just because we saw at E3 how the character select works and how you get the stage select before the character select. So I could maybe see like a stage select preview. That's true. And then you would know like, okay, I know where we are right now. I know what we're playing on. That's I'm going to choose my character accordingly. That would actually yeah. be kind of fire. I would like well, that Well, the stage matters more. The stage actually matters in, in Smash. and in tennis, it doesn't. You're always going to be on the tennis court. So I would like that if it showed the name, the connection, and then the stage you're going to play on. And yeah, then you pick your character. That'd be great. I'm, it would be so much worse on Smash. Like... If I felt like playing Cloud on For Glory, no one would want to play against me. Of course not. Or or Ben. Nobody. Nobody. Like, just... If your character right. Lewis straight up loses to another character, you're never gonna want to play against that character. Yeah, so it's, it's fucking stupid. They shouldn't show that. <laughs> That's how People it should, should be on tennis. The game. You, you shouldn't. You yeah. shouldn't see who you're gonna play against in any. But here's it's not even that bad game. on tennis either, because it's not like Bowser Jr. is this unbeatable force. Yeah, no. but it's like I I get like I didn't like it just annoyed me because it's like. In my mind, it's a tennis game, right? Like, who cares? It's a Mario sports game. Yet I'm here yeah. trying to play, and like I'm streaming it and enjoying it. And people around my chat, how do you sleep at night, bro? Playing this we've had this conversation what? yesterday. People are gonna be passionate about games, man. No, if they play I the game competitively. I, like, they're gonna be like that. I understand that now. Like I was watching Jay Wood stream, and he like, like not Jay Wood, sorry, uh, Jay Miller stream. He explained it in a way that like you know, like it made more sense to me why they feel that way, right? But I'm just saying like. In my mind, if I'm just playing the game, this happened to be the character I like. I didn't pick Junior. Like, come on. I but why the hell do they care about Smash that? 4. No, but like, for me, it's because people feel like, oh, you just want to win as easily as possible. How do you get away? It's like, I literally picked the character Bro, I like. This is literally nothing new, man. People do this about, any it doesn't matter if you like a broken character. That all they see Most is you. Of those people are, are kids and like stupid teenagers anyway. Yeah, obviously. Nah, I've seen pot, dropping around stream W some grown, <laughs> grown ass people. Oh well, I know that one time. Yeah, stupid the... grown up people. If, it's like if, if you, like Captain Zach loves Bayonetta in Smash Four. Do you think anybody gives a fuck about that? No, <laughs> they see him playing Bayo, and they fucking hate him straight up. They don't yeah. get. They don't care. His whole room can be decorated with Bayonetta merchandise <laughs> from from ten yeah. years ago or whatever. Like they nobody cares. <laughs> they see you playing Bowser Junior. You're a Bowser Junior player. Who cares why you're playing him? He's he's the best character in the game. You're gonna get shit automatically. We already we, we know this. You're just new to this because you play Falco and Blaziken and Pokemon. Yes, okay, so I I just play characters I like. This is not like a new thing. Okay, he but see when when you play Bowser Jr., there's not a sign above his head that says I'm playing this character because I like him. <laughs> Fair enough. When I when I get randomly matched up with Bowser Juniors, uh, the first thing I assume is like okay they're playing this character because he, they heard he's the best or something. I I don't think like. Oh man, this guy loves this character. Exactly. Who really Nobody loves Bowser Jr.? I do. <laughs> Mike. Uh, Mike, I Mike do definitely I likes Bowser like... Jr. a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. legitimately, of all the Mario characters, he's one of my favorites. Uh, to me, that's like liking, like, a Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, 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 what? That's, a, that's, that's crazy. Bowser's son. That's or the main character's, character's son. Like, you're not going to compare You're saying, wait, Goomba. Rapture, are you saying you don't like Goombario, man? <laughs> Goombario clean. You're not a fan of Goombella? Well, I mean, I will say, though, I, I feel like because I've been, 
desensitized to Bowser Jr. because in Smash 4 he has like the Koopa car. Like I like Bowser Jr. from uh, Super Mario Sunshine. We has like the. Yeah, I, 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 I'm with you on that. I absolutely hate that they put him in the clown car in every fucking game now. They yeah, don't let him don't walk like around. That's why I don't really like him. His brand. That's not even his brand. Oh, it that is now. Bowser, that was Bowser's thing, and then it's he just definitely his he, now. He bit it. It's. Just, I think it's just a lazy thing. Honestly. I, yeah, I agree. Feels to me like they just sprouted it from Smash Brothers. That now so many yeah. people like Bowser Jr. through playing him in Smash. That now every iteration of Bowser post Smash Four is gonna have him in the clown car. Yeah, you know, that's, that's like, what happens with a lot of characters. Look at like Captain Falcon. They eventually yeah. made the Falcon Punch cannon after it was in Smash Brothers for such a long time. Uh, so and Sakurai and turned Mario into a funny fart man, and now that's him <laughs> forever. He farts all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Smash is a big influence on like every single Nintendo IP. Smash Brothers, because again, this is a podcast about Smash, and I really don't want to spend oh, too much it? more time on Mario say, Tennis. The last thing I want to say is, like, I get the people thing, don't like Last the thing, and I'm hitting the gong. Okay. I get that people don't like the character, but the thing that I don't like is, like, the community's whole thing that, like, oh, yes, skipping this character is fine. Everyone should hate him. If you, this person plays him, they're the spawn of Satan. It's like, you're, you're, it's just you're, like, being, it's you're mad at the wrong mind. people, though. They shouldn't even what? allow, you, they shouldn't allow you to skip the character in the first place. Okay, but, like, it's there. Okay. Like, I, like, I don't care people don't want to play the character. That's fine. I do care when people act like, you know, there's something wrong with you if you're picking this character. Because, like, I'm just playing a game that's not that serious. You and can't take that personally, though. I feel like that happens with every video game. Right. If I have the option to play against a character I don't like playing against, of course I'm going to choose it. And huh, if everybody that's... hates playing, if, most, if it's the general consensus that this is the best character, fuck playing against this character. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Better pick Some Mario. people might not even think that. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a sheep mentality. Yeah, exactly. Just want to play. Right, we're moving on to Smash Brothers now. We we are gonna move on to Smash Brothers. I'm hitting the gong. Gong. <laughs> we're moving on. Next topic. All right. CEO 2018. Now, Rapture, you were at CEO, right? I was at CEO. Yeah. Did you get to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for Nintendo Switch? Because we've all talked at length about our thoughts of the game so far, but we've not yet heard your opinion. You're the guest, so how are you feeling about Smash Ultimate? Who'd you play as? What are your general yeah, so thoughts? He, he also plays Ridley. He plays Ridley, but that, that's that's uh, that's pretty significant to me because uh, most people I've been seeing haven't been playing him at all. Or he's like, I, like they I, don't I understand him. Okay. Oh, you only played Ridley. I thought you played other characters. That's why I said that. No, no, no. So when I went to uh, Nintendo World Store or Nintendo New York when they had that demo, they didn't have Ridley, so I played Snake and Pokemon Trainer. They didn't have Ridley. They didn't have what? Ridley. What? The they have? Demo was, it was everybody else, but it was literally the same E3 demo, but no Ridley. What? Mm. Yeah. Heck? So one, well, one of the store reps told me they only got the demo like three or four days before the reveal, so the, the assumption was that they didn't want it to get leaked. Oh, that makes sense. So right. that's why he wasn't there. I, but they, yeah, so I went to CEO. I got to play like three or four four free for alls with Ridley. Um, a couple one v ones that were like you know like time and like items, so like whatever. And then like some one v ones that were actual like three stock uh, with time with you no know, items. So a decent amount of time, I guess. Not as much as I would have liked because I had to stand in line a couple times. Other times I kind of just like you know walked in with other people. Um, and the demo was only there till like six p.m every day so like you know i wasn't getting into the venue like, at like 9 a.m to line up um, but i did get to play like, a good amount of games I, I, you know, more than i expected to play right on so general thoughts on ridley right now obviously you've been waiting a long time for him do you think the hype think ridley has a shot to be a really good character in smash ultimate uh i mean i don't know because like there's so many characters and that's the right answer thank with, you like, tons of them you know like we won't be able to play with 15 or 16. Um, and it's also hard too because a lot of the people I played against played the characters they play in, in Smash 4. Mm. So, like, you know, so I they're already Larry. familiar. You're playing right, a brand yeah, new so character, like, Larry yeah. playing Fox, who he's played for four years. Exactly, yeah. So, it's hard <laughs> to like basically when I'm playing a character I've literally never played before and I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not like amazing or anything, you know. So, I'm playing players who are better than me who are, and I'm not trying to John, but like trying to put it into perspective, I guess. But sure. uh, I did, did trash on Max and Vicky though. So, they're not trying to upload the footage because they don't want to get. Everyone to see that, but <laughs> I do. Um, I think he's really fun. Like he plays how I would think he would play. He's very satisfying. Um, like he has like the side B, which is like you know is like trademark claw move. Uh, the down B is really cool. Uh, up up air is like I think his best aerial. It's really sick. It's like Charizard's up tilt but in the air. It's kind of busted. 
Um, but yeah, he feels very satisfying. He's like, you know, very quick and snappy uh, movement on the ground. His aerial movement's not really great, but and he's obviously like a big character, and his recovery's kind of like disappointing, kind of like lackluster. But other than that, like he's a lot of fun and definitely lived up to my expectations. So I'm gonna try to play him as much as possible because that's pretty much what I did at CEO, and it was worth it because he's really fun. I really had no interest in playing anybody else. I've been waiting for like two decades, so I really wasn't going to. But he was really fun, so I didn't have like like I I would I didn't play the game and was like ah he actually is like like not fun. He was actually really fun, so. Try to play him as much as possible. Oh, right on. Honestly, low aerial, like not having a lot of aerial movement, is the last thing I expected from Ridley. Yeah, that's weird for me because, like, in the games, that's like his thing. Like, he's fast in the air and like yeah. he's always fighting in the air. But yeah, he's like kind of fast on the ground, and aerial movement is like eh. But he has three jumps, so that's good. Uh, and the fact that everyone has a three-frame jump squat is really good for heavies. So I think that'll just benefit him in the long run. And then, you know, less landing lag on aerials. His aerials are really good, other than, like, down air, which is kind of trash. But his aerials yeah, are really good. Yeah, that's the one so move I could really figure out. His down air is not very good. I thought, yeah, it would be, I thought it'd be similar to Greninja's, but it doesn't spike, right? It does spike. It does? Where? Like, the very yeah. beginning? Um, I think, honestly, it's like, yeah, like, at the beginning of it, not, like, the end of it. Um, I couldn't get it. I, I kept trying to spike people. I did it, like, once. It. <laughs> it, it kind of felt to me, you know how, like, with uh, Mewtwo's down air, where you have to hit, like, directly below him otherwise it'll pop people up yeah, to, like, yeah. The sides. it kind yeah. of felt like it felt like that so i hope they change it it's it pretty much like a crappy greninja down air yeah but, that's like, how it felt his nair really good you can combo into it at low percent or combo into other moves off of it at low percent um like i was doing like nair down tilt forward air like low percent so that was good um forward air is a solid ass move back air is like diddy back air but like long ridley legs so that's a cool like definitely a guaranteed like kill move uh, up air is really good. I think it's one of the best moves in the game. It's like really good, really good juggle potential. Comes out really quick, has like no end lag. Um, yeah, that's a really solid move. So I think that makes up for his his like kind of poor aerial movement and recovery is that he has big buttons you have to respect. And then his ground moves are, are sick, obviously. His fireball, really, 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 really good move. And I wish I used it more. I just wasn't. Standard special. I saw you. Um, the, uh, the forward yeah, smash. I saw you. Uh, yeah, like yeah, stand, yeah. standing at, at a distance where it would like basically fall right off the ledge. Yeah. So yeah, it'll. I, if, saw, if it, uh, I saw Larry's videos when you were playing. Yeah, if you use it in the air, like you know, at the ledge, and it, you know, there's air like in front of you, it'll just like go down at that angle. Otherwise, it has that like wave kind of movement to it. it does like almost like thirty percent fully charged, but like you have to be careful because it has like you know long startup. Um, the single fireball is like okay, but like he does, he gets, he takes extra damage if you hit him in the face when he's charging it. So you don't want to get hit by anything. That's such a Probably. cool little thing that they added too to yeah, throw back to the original Metroid. Like, right there. Everything about his four specials I actually really like, and I think if you would have seen them on paper, that like one of his moves is he drags people, another one he spikes somebody, you know, with his tail. They, mm -hmm. He impales them. The other one is just sort of like a. A, a basic up air that I think to the casual eye, someone would see that and be like, oh, that's like foxes. And then you've got, you know, his fireballs. It seems kind of like a, a standard move set. But when you yeah. actually see them in action, it's really cool to see how each of his big four special moves basically reference a moment in his history, right? You've got like the brutality of some of the Metroid Prime games, another M with the impaling attack, his down B. I don't talk about that game though. No, I know we don't talk, but I, I do like that it's somewhat represented, though, even though it was a bad game. Uh, then you've yeah. got the fireball from the original Metroid. You've got the the slide attack where he basically drags people against the wall. That's taken from Brawl. Really, that's the first time he ever did that. He did that in other M too, but that originally came from Brawl. And then uh, his up B as well, sort of being this cool like pirate recovery. I like everything about it. Yeah, that yeah, neutral B is what I wanted Bowser to have in Smash Bros. I want him to have a fireball instead of fire breath. I always was kind of surprised that he didn't have the fireballs from like the original Mario Brothers. Yeah, that's what I that's you know, what I want. Sent out like a super missile. Yeah, that would have actually been kind of cool. I'm surprised they never did that. It was a custom but, move, well, but Ridley got it. So sucks to suck, Bowser. Good move. It is what Definitely it is. Good. I think like it's charge. It's actually a really good move. Like it, you know, obviously cuts off a lot of the stage you're trying to recover. It's uh, pretty decent, I think. Like landing, like coverage option if someone's trying to get back on the stage you don't want to like commit to like up air um so yeah i think it's a really good move side b's really good does a ton of damage free corner carry uh they can ma you can mash out of it but only like at like kind of really low percents i mean even with that i saw you <laughs> i keep going back to your footage I, even when people would break out they'd kind of land in a spot where you could like 
maybe like apply yeah, more pressure to them. Yeah, yeah exactly. they like land right in front of you. I'm not sure if it puts you like frame positive, but it, it definitely doesn't. Like, Probably not. Be, <laughs> yeah, definitely not because I'd be really busted. But like, it definitely doesn't put you in a bad situation. You can definitely follow up or like read where they're gonna go. Uh, the only problem with the move is that it has a lot of cooldowns. So if you miss, like, you're pretty much guaranteed to get punished. So you have to be like really on point with using it. But it is a solid move. It's a lot of fun to use. Yeah, I also saw you. Uh, like when you thought when you thought somebody would roll onto stage, you'd like run past them and then like. Mm -hmm. Just use it to cover the road. That was pretty cool, too. What do you think yeah. about uh, his up B? I heard it was, like, a really strong kill move, potentially. But, like, I don't really see how you could combo into it or hit somebody with it raw. I don't... Because, I mean, it's not... It only has... So, it doesn't have... As far... As best of my knowledge, it doesn't have... It's not, like, a move you can just use in any direction. And it doesn't go in, like, the cardinal directions. It has, like, four predetermined, like, ways it goes. Like, if you use, like, the side... Like, if you hit up B and then you do, like, the side version, it goes at, like, a diagonal kind of... Um, like, it's a really weird move, and I was trying to, like, kind of be reverse it in the air so I could get the, the, the back version, which goes, like, up and back. Um, but I, I just recovered, like, low and used the up version. I guess it worked. Uh, it, it definitely is a strong move, though. It's very strong. It has a little bit of startup. I don't know how you can really do any setups into it. Uh, I really, not entirely sure if I would expect it to be a move to worry about in, like, a kill potential kind of way. But, yeah, it's definitely, like, has a lot of kill mm. powers, a lot of knockback. Um, it's big, obviously. What about so, his, uh, like, what kind of angle does his up air send you in? Up it could be, like, like, maybe it's, like, a fox type thing where you can just, like, read an air dodge and then do that shit real quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's actually probably how you can, uh, how you can do it. Like, it's, it's a really good move, and you can juggle a lot with it. It's so good. It's, like, not committal because it's so fast, so, like, you can throw it out. If you, like, if someone air dodges and you do it, you could probably do it again and hit them. Or an air. Because, like, they probably won't far, uh, fall, like, fast enough past you to not get hit by Nair. Which is also a really, really, really good move. And you can just kind of... It's like... It feels like Cloud Nair, kind of. It's just like... Yeah, really big, yeah. comes out quick. And combo into other moves with it. So, good move. The out combo, actually, too. I think it's really neat. Like, the little... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His jab. Yeah, his jab yeah. is cool. Uh, def yeah, I was neat. see. I was kind of hoping this game would have him, would give him like, like his down air. I was hoping would be his like pogo, like his tail move that he does in the games, where he kind of like jumps and like stabs downward in his tail. Like if you played Zero Mission, he does that a lot. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. I was hoping for that. Like his down air is kind of weird. Like he would never do that in the games, I guess. But like I don't know, whatever. You know, that, that is what. What's it is. his What's his down smash? I don't remember. It's like Charizard's old one, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty much like Charizard's. It's just like a stomp. It was, it's it's okay. I didn't really use it a lot because it's slow. Um, I I didn't really use it. I use like up smash and forward smash more. Forward smash is like very low range, but a ton of kill power, and so I think it's a pretty solid move. Up smash, you know, obviously like goes through platforms and like battlefield, so that's a good move. But I feel like forward smash is probably one of his better ones. Just it doesn't have a lot of range for some reason. I don't know. And it feels satisfying. That's one of those yeah. moves. I remember just like. The first time we got to play it was uh, behind the scenes at the Invitational on that first day of the show. And man, just like sitting down, one of the first things I noticed with Ridley was when you use that forward smash and it's fully charged all the way, it just feels so satisfying to like blow up an opponent and see them go flying off the screen. So, yeah, no, no. Overall, I think Ridley's a really fun character, so mm -hmm. it's cool to actually hear your thoughts on it as somebody who obviously a lot more competitive than I am and is also a huge Ridley fan, so... Yeah, he's he's really cool. I'm really happy with him. Like I was, I was a little worried. I mean, I wasn't worried because at this point, like I didn't care how they put him in, except that they did some. Like they made him like other Emeraldly, then I'd be really tight. Or like they used like one of his like Pokemon forms where he doesn't become like fully evolved Ridley from other M, which was also horrible idea. Wow, that game is trash. But they actually like did him really solid justice in this game. He feels like how I expected him to play, except like the fact that his aerial movement is kind of whack. But I feel like if it was really good along with everything else he has, he'd probably be, like, really, really good, and I don't think they were trying to do that. Um, and I think in Smash in general, they don't want to really give, like, big characters, like, good aerial movement. So, I don't know. Other than that, and, like, his down air kind of being whack, um, yeah, he's really cool, really good character. I, well, not really good. I don't know how he's going to be play out, right? Like, it's really hard to tell in this, like, moment of the game, but I don't think he's going to be trash, so that's good. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use him. I'm, you know, I'm still on board with the Ridley train, so... Uh, and I'm, and his colors look really sick. He has all these really sick colors. Meta Ridley is going to be in it too. He's not in the demo. So that that wasn't but... in the E3 version. No. Um, instead, it was like this cool black skin. It was like black and orange. 
Um, I don't know what it was trying to reference, but I thought it looked really neat. So I do hope they actually keep that color and get rid of one of the other ones. I'm but pretty sure. Ones... I'm I'm pretty sure that some colors are missing in general from the demo because yeah. Mario doesn't have his fire Mario costume, and mm -hmm. like that's never gonna go away. That would just yeah. be weird. I, I wonder gonna... if they replaced it though with uh, that wouldn't make any sense girl. to me because why would it's... they replace fire Mario yeah. though with like the wedding um, Mario I... or builder Mario? I think, uh, like, I think wedding and builder are more relevant now, technically. I, I, I don't know, think that sounds weird, there. but like, let me let me try and see all his colors. I mean, I, I think it'd be weird if they were like, all right, of it, but he has like Waluigi, Wario. Uh, he had Fire Mario before. He had Brown, I think, in Melee. I don't know if that's yeah, in like Smash Mario Four. Too, which is cool. And then yeah, they had the Golf Mario, but I, there's no way that. Fire Mario is going to be omitted from the game. So I think that some things just aren't finished yet or not in. I, I, I want to point out real quick is uh, we have a new special guest who just decided to throw <laughs> his two cents in there with the Mario thing. Didn't say anything. Would you like to introduce yourself, good man? Um, how you guys doing? My name is Indakuba. Uh, I, I came in kind of quiet because, I mean, you guys were already talking, so I didn't want to just, like, be that guy and be like, hey, you know? So, um, yeah, how y'all doing? Good. I'm actually really, really happy that you joined because you were one of the few people playing with me a ton yeah. <laughs> at the VIP Invitational. So really quickly, because you haven't been on the show before, give your thoughts on the demo. You obviously played a lot of it. Oh. So what are your overall thoughts? What are your favorite characters? Everything. Um, one, I need this game. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, but I was playing with characters that I'm more in tune with because like my main is Ike, right? You know, th that's my boy. So I was trying to like uh, really get a feel for him and whatnot. And compared to Smash Four, I think he's uh, I think he's better in this game because he's faster. Um, he has a different up air, which I personally think like I was able to utilize a bit more than how I was in the um, in the previous game. Um, note that I'm not the most competitive person, but still. But um, I, I started taking a liking to Ridley, Ice Climbers a little bit, and um, Snake just to you know reminisce on the brawl days but still figure out like how they would play like in this game and all in all man just whoa um <laughs> i i really don't know it's just like I, I need this game in my life that's my overall impressions the characters felt good like the speed of the game was much better than uh smash wii u i just need this game like i, I just wish that they had wolf playable at the demo because i really wanted to play as him but uh besides that yeah just i, I can't wait for this game to come out thick because you got the Semi-competitive, semi-casual side that I bring to the table, but you also yeah. really badly want to see Wolf, which is exactly what Shofu would have said. So <laughs> you're already right at home on the podcast. What? And uh, I've literally never said that a single time. <laughs> never said that you want to play as Wolf or you want a free Wolf. Really, that's no. I never shocking. said that I wish Wolf was in the demo because I really wanted to play it. And I never said that. <laughs> that ever? I literally never said that. Lies then? Oh. I never say that. Yep. You know, I, I, again. Roger lies part two. Man. Oh my goodness. Damn. That's great. <laughs> and also joining the conversation, just uh, hopping in right now, is we've got Tito. Uh, I don't think you're staying very long, right? You mentioned in the Discord that you're just going to hop in uh, yeah. and hop out. I, yeah, I was going to hop in for a little bit because I did also get to play the demo this weekend. Uh, Perfect. So general impressions, what are your thoughts? You were at CEO. Uh, what did you think of the demo, Tito? Um, So I got to... I like... Kind of like Rapture, I wanted to really focus on one or two characters. Um, so I ended up playing around two sessions of free for all, and every one of those with Pokemon Trainer. And then I played three 1v1s, two with items, one without, and th those were all inkling. Um, Pokemon Trainer is just infinitely better because just of all the really changes that they made with all the stamina, not stamina, but the, the ability to play as whatever Pokemon you want, being able to switch in the air. Um, a lot of Squirtle's stuff feels different, but in, like, a really good way. Like, I, I don't know what about it yet, because I didn't really get a chance because I was switching between the three, but Squirtle just feels better. Um, Inklings are really good, dude. Like, their buttons are insane. Like, the thing that really got me when I was playing Inklings was that I haven't felt like a character's just base buttons were that good since, like, for, for a very long time. Specifically, forward air is just Diddy's forward air. Like, literally, it's just Diddy's forward air. Uh, a lot of her aerials are really good. So um, I don't know how good they will actually be because obviously we haven't played the whole cast, but just playing Inkling a lot, I'm like, that character's a lot better than I thought that character would end up being. 
sort of along the same lines as what we were talking about with Ridley earlier, too. Uh, I feel like both of the newcomers that have already been shown off and playable have really fun jab combos. Like, I know that's a, a minor thing to be excited about, but I actually genuinely like how the Inklings jab combo feels. Uh, there was a match I uploaded that was like a direct feed match with uh, Kirby versus the Inkling. And just seeing that, like, splattershot combo is so fun and really satisfying, again, to pull off once we actually let go of the trigger and uh, you see them go flying. So, yeah, cool. On the topic of Squirtle, though, because I've seen a lot of people talking about that with Squirtle potentially feeling better, I think that might just come from the engine. I think the game is a lot more aggressive than Brawl. And so when you've got a character like Squirtle who was really fun and mobile during Brawl and you throw them into this game that's a lot more aggressive, that's a lot more technical, uh, I think it's just naturally going to hey, feel whoa, better whoa, to play whoa, that character. Whoa, hold on. I don't know about this a lot more technical stuff. Yeah, Brawl is a <laughs> lot of things, but it's, Brawl is really technical. Well, I shouldn't say a lot more technical than I should say <laughs> faster and more aggressive. That's fine. The big thing I Good think opinion. is just that the ability to combo exists. In Brawl, there wasn't much of that. I mean, honestly, when it comes to this game, it's seeming like it's seeming like combos are lacking a little bit. But I'll, I'll yeah, know. I'd like that's my biggest worry is uh, they lowered hit stun. I would like to see them figure out a way to make it so that grabs have less or have less hit stun, and then aerials and other moves have more. I don't I don't know if that would happen, but yeah. Yeah, and when I was playing a lot of 1v1s, um, I found myself being reset to neutral, like, at least twice as often. Like, I had, I had played, I immediately played Smash 4 after I finished with the Ultimate demo when I played Inkling. And, first of all, that felt like dog shit. But, the, um, I found myself just resetting to neutral a lot. Like, there weren't a lot of long combo strings. Like, you wouldn't see, like, characters, like, be, like, up air forever for, like, a good five seconds. And then, and then I'd have to recover back on stage. It just felt like you know, two hit trades back and forth, two hit trades back and forth, a hard read here, a hard read here. So it, was, it seemed like there was a lot more, like, resetting and neutral after long, instead of these long strings. I don't know. I feel like Smash 4 is like that, too, at its launch, at least, because, like, people don't really know what works yet. And you don't really have enough time to figure that out, either. Smash 4 like, was not I mean, like I that, what you mean. I mean, it was at some at some point, but... Yeah, I'm saying, like, yeah. when it first came out, when, people, when you don't know what to do, people just reset neutral. Like... And then when you know, okay, this works into this, then you keep going. That's just the way I feel. But yeah, I get what you mean. But I'm saying, I, I feel it's kind of early to be like, this game is just going to be this way kind of yeah. idea. No, I'm, I'm just saying that as I was playing the game, I felt myself like, not. it's not that I didn't know what to do. It's the fact that my moves wouldn't allow me to continue comboing because there wasn't enough hit stun. So I found myself having I to reset the neutral. was the same. Is it confirmed that the hit stun was changed? I thought it was just that weird if balloon I, not back. I, I, it felt, I'm not, I don't know if the numbers are different, but that, I'm just, that's what it felt like when I was playing. And I was, again, I was playing Inkling the whole time. Uh, so when. I, mean, I feel like Inkling should feel like more of a combo character. Cause like Ridley, I didn't expect to, to do any combos. So like, I guess I didn't have that expectation going into it. Like you could do like some low percent stuff, but that's it. I mean, honestly, I would think one question would be like, do you guys think that they're going to change? Um, those type of mechanics like the hit stun and whatnot because they did say like you know the game is still in development naturally but yeah, yeah i mean always say that though that's why yeah, i don't think talking about stuff like this is important because it's the first build of the game and right. there's five more months until release when the game actually releases then we can actually talk about the technical right. stuff but i still think it's important to bring up just because you know it's your first general impression of the demo um by the way, this is just a minor little segue. I don't want to talk about this too much, but you had mentioned that the characters feel different, right? And that's something I wanted to bring up because this has sort of been a topic among Smash Twitter for the past week, is the new stages, or should I say the remakes of the stages and how stages now don't necessarily translate one-to-one -one in this game. The stages that they're bringing back, things like Magicant or Great Bay or Corneria, but the stages feel as you remember them as opposed to just being direct transfers, which I think actually really works for what they're trying to do with this game. Like, uh, there were some great comparison shots I saw on Twitter earlier of the new Magicant stage. Yeah, I saw which that too. Which readjusted some stuff, and it looks absolutely beautiful. I, I mean, would rather it be that way anyway, to be honest. Imagine, imagine having melee stages ported one-to-one -to, -one to an HD game. Right, uh, it, at it, the time... It, it looks bad in 4. <laughs> right. 
I feel like at the time when we played Congo Falls on GameCube, it was like, oh, this is such a cool stage. There's rushing water in the background. But again, yeah. you look at the original Melee version and it's like, oh, it looks terrible. So they, they changed the way that that stage looks, again, to make you feel like you remember it being this beautiful stage. When in reality, if you go back and look at the stage, it's, it's pretty, pretty yep. ugly. Uh, but at the same time, and you, we, we played a little bit of this Invitational too uh, backstage, is when you play the Saffron City stage, right? All the assets are now HD except for the Pokemon that That's come out of the top of Slift Company, dude. which yeah. are like little yeah. pixels, which is kind of cool, you know? Yeah. Uh, go completely that. off topic, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, speaking of stages, I did get a chance because one of the things I knew I wanted to do is that I wanted to see if there were any 3DS stages. Um, that would transfer over to because obviously every stage is going to be there and i was really there are a lot of stages on the 3ds that i thought would be really really good for competitive play that just never made it on there so i immediately started playing prison tower and that stage is gorgeous uh that was i played that probably more than any of the stage uh i don't know because it has a walk-off so i don't think it's gonna really be competitive but just like we're talking about kind of going from one game to the other or one version of the game to the other i just a lot of the stages just look and feel like very very natural like they were specifically built for this game even though we know they weren't i i agree because um comparing like other stages from the older games like and the ones i can recall from memory um because i know corneria is back um temple's back we saw magicant uh i'm forgetting another one but yeah it's just like we've seen like these stages for years and then just seeing it in like this type of graphical style, it, it just looks really, really freaking nice. Even things we've only seen in screenshots, like the new Venom or um, Spear Pillar, there are just like minor graphical touches that, again, you wouldn't notice unless you're really looking at the screenshot, but it does end up making a lot of these stages great, so. On the topic of stages too, because you brought it up earlier, and I've seen some people talking about it in the chat right now, Rykar said picking stages during a tournament is going to be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I'm curious if maybe they're going... Because it seems like this game is full of customization features, right? You could turn off hazards. There's going to be, like, Battlefield versions of the stages and Omega versions of the stages. I'm wondering if maybe there's going to be some type of customization option on the stage select menu in which you can actually gray out stages for competitive play or basically make your own custom stage list that shows up each time that you play. I think that'd be kind of neat if you could make a custom stage list where maybe you don't necessarily love Prism Tower because you mentioned it as walk-offs, but you really like the Battlefield version of Prism Tower. You could maybe set that as the default for that stage and then put together your own main stage screen list when you're playing with your friends. Well, what I was going to say is like with the idea you had at first of like, you know, graying out scenes you don't want to play, they, they, people kind of do that now with the stage select screen. They just go there and just like, especially when it's, you know, Two people from different, who don't speak the same language playing, you go there and then they like, you know, say which stage they ban and things like that. So it, it's like something that the game kind of has, but you know, they don't implement it. But I mean, they've done a lot of stuff, so like, it would be cool if they did that. Yeah. It just seems, I don't know, it just seems like they're putting in all of these stages with all these different battlefield forms where it's clear that they're trying to speak to that competitive audience. And I think it'll end up being a shame if we just end up once again looking over all these stages and going to battlefield and final destination and you know yoshi story and dreamland and the stages we've been playing on for you know a decade now i really hope that they end up opening it up for tournaments where then we end up seeing like the battlefield version of shadow moses island with snake eater playing in the background at a big tournament well i think that's for awesome. uh that's for a player like i i think what i'm afraid of is that the committee from smash 4 who's definitely already working on stage is trying to figure out a stage list for this game when it's not even sure. out. It's like, I'm Rose afraid they're gonna go like, we're only gonna play these set stages for the next 10 years, whatever. And that's it. I, I, I think that's because so many stages are available, it'd be cool to see a rotation of them, even if it's just like, like a couple. And Ze I think you even talked about this a little bit on the podcast last week, Zeph, because I wasn't here, but I listened in on what you guys were talking about. And you had mentioned that I think you want there to sort of be risk-taking with the early days of the game where, you know, people try out the new Great Bay, people try out some of these other stages that you wouldn't necessarily think right away would be tournament legal, but at the very least people actually try the stages out before completely writing them off. And like you're talking about, maybe the committee's out there right now, it's already writing these stages off, but I really hope that's not the case. Yeah. Well, they definitely are, so. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 saying they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is happening. What, what, I, what I have heard from people who would, who would know is that the, there's 
the options that are considering one of the things that was brought up to me was and when it comes to picking stages and stuff, looking at each individual stage to look at them sort of thematically in terms of what their general layout is. Do you have a tri... Like, every stage list has to have a tri uh a single plat, like an FD kind of thing, and making sure that all of those are kind of there uh, because you have such an abundance of stages. Um, they want to kind of look... They're thinking about looking at it a little bit more thematically. Um, if that's, my, that's my understanding from what I've been told. Um, I don't know how concrete that is, but it sounds kind of ass. But well, yeah, I'm, 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 want to do that grouping for sure. I have heard that, and I'm worried about that because, like, I get that. Like, okay, let's say Yoshi's or Yoshi's story from Melee has okay. triplats, but it also has Randall, which does matter. And like, the size of the stage isn't the same as Battlefield, but it still has three platforms. But I don't see that stage in Battlefield as the same stage. The, but the, in, ter- in terms of the actual categorization. Not saying that I agree. I'm just saying they would both be categorized as triplat. Yeah, no, that's what I, so, I don't want them to end up doing that. Yeah. I think that's going to end up hurting the game if you just take a bunch of cool stages that are different. Yes, they're similar, but there's enough differences and nuances that in a tournament set it does matter, and then just say, "Oh, no, these are the same." Yeah, I, I think I remember Shofu saying this on last week's episode. You guys were talking about Lilac Crews and how basically the only reason Ooh. people play on Lilac Crews is because. We kind of had to. There weren't a lot of other stages, but now we have the options, and so now no one's going to play on Lilac Cruise. Lilac and I think is, that might end up being the, the case for a lot of these stages. I don't know. Lilac in this game, like, when I played it, to me, it, like, like a person who doesn't even mind, like, I hate Lilac and Brawl. Don't mind it all in Smash 4. Like, the stage barely tilted at all. So, I mean, like, unpopular opinion, I feel the same way. I like Lilac Cruise, but I know there's a lot of people That's because you ain't never fallen through the middle of it. <laughs> they like that's the big thing if that's gone i feel like there's nothing wrong with lilac and then like the other thing that worries me is because there's omega versions of every not omega sorry there's hazardless versions of every stage that some stages that are like not really that bad with hazards quote unquote on where it's like what if the hazards wispy blowing you know that doesn't really sometimes it matters yeah but it makes it's a nuance of the stage like lilac tilting and then especially this town city tilts slightly yeah and, i don't think ta- the- i don't think town and city has it should be turned off no. No, they shouldn't. And they absolutely just for, shouldn't. Just for clarification, like, when you say hazards off, it's any stage movement whatsoever. That's how it works, right? It's you anything that could jeopard... It, it's anything that could kill you. Okay. The stage okay. tilting when you're recovering could kill you. The platform disappearing off the side of the screen when you're on it and didn't tech could kill you. That stuff so, is gone. Okay. I kind of wonder what some stages are going to look like hazardless, too. Like, what's the hazardless version of the Mega Man stage going to look like. I'm wondering if there still be will be platforms that are sort of yeah, hovering, but they're standing heard, there. There's not. It's just the Omega version. It's just the thing at the bottom right now. Because the platform goes off screen, so that counts. Hmm. We'll see. I do hope people experiment, though. I really do. Because I think there's just so much good music that's in the game that's going to be overlooked when you're playing in a tournament. And I don't know. I'm a music nut. I want to see more of it. By the way, I know we've talked about the demo. We gave some general overall impressions. Any other thoughts on the demo before we move on to the next topic? Uh, I will say that it did suck that we had to play with pro controllers with default controls. So, like, that did make it hard to really mm. play the game. Like, uh, you know, like in my matches against Larry, I got, like, dash attack a lot because I was trying to do, like, you know, skid cancel, like, tilt or something. And I just get, like, dash attack or, you know, you, the short hop, like, uh, macro is kind of weird to get used to. And I was like, you know, with default controls, I'm like, I don't use tap jump. So, like, I was jumping all over the place and wasting jumps in neutral. And the pro controller has, like, the A and B button switch, which is weird. That, yeah, um, I hate that. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why it's like that. So, I feel, or, what, you know, all right, whatever you guys want to call it, skid cancel, whatever it is. Um, the, yeah, that kind of stuff was, I wish we could have played with GameCube controllers <laughs> and been able to edit our controls. Just so we could really get, like, a better feel of how we were playing it. But... Uh, other than that, I thought the demo was really fun, and I'm glad that they were actually able to. You know, they let us uh, play with like, I guess, tournament quote unquote rules on the last day because I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I didn't and... think that would happen either. I'm surprised yeah. <laughs> they gave you nothing but pro controllers. Though. That's funny. Yeah, it was yeah, all. Yeah, that's controllers. weird. They had gaming controllers at E3. That's not weird. I figured that would happen. E3 is yeah, different. They uh, they they had two separate lines: one for free for alls, and then one for one v ones. 
So, and that was only on the last day, if I recall correctly, so... No, that was on all three days. Was it really? Okay. Yeah. That was all three days, because I, I waited on the free-for-all line the first day or so, because the line was quicker, you know, obviously, but, um... That was, I mean, honestly, like, there was one game where, like, we played, like, I had a set of, like, random people I didn't know, and so the first game, like, alright, we're gonna play on, on FD, and, like, that'll be cool, and, you know, we'll all try to avoid items, and they kind of did that, and then the second game, like, alright, let's play on a melee stage. So I picked, like, Congo Jungle or whatever, and it was, like, three Squirtles and my Ridley with, like, items, and I literally didn't play for, like, two and a half minutes. I just <laughs> hit by every single thing, um, but it was really fun. I was really happy that they, they made it available, and, you know, it's just a demo, so, like, it's not, like... A big deal right like i think some people went into the expecting like oh like this should have all staged all the characters with ginkgo controllers like it's just a demo like it's just something to give people an opportunity to play the game and for that i was pretty grateful because they definitely didn't need to do that i hope it shows up at evo again um but it was really cool to have the demo and be able to play it and i think that added a lot to ceo because i thought it was yeah. a really cool event outside of that but just having the demo there really was was really sick and, and definitely made the event a lot more fun Thing. I saw. I saw you chime in, Tito. No, I was just. I was just agreeing with him. Yeah. You gotta wait in the line, though. So you got. You, you gotta. You gotta use that clout, Tito. Oh, you gotta, okay. Go I, you got. You I, gotta I, find someone. To are you over here? You over here skipping lines, lines, bro? I use. I oh, use I all my clout. Oh yeah, I used all my clout on Thursday, and I got in early. I used all my clout on see, Thursday. See, I spread out. Your my clout doesn't run out, man. Days. Okay, look, man. I only have <laughs> precious coins. <laughs> I turn them in. He had one clout token. I, 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 had, I had two Jesus clout Isaac. tokens. I used them twice on Thursday. Nah, waiting on the lines was excruciating, though. Like, I waited yeah, that was, that was how long? Seven. Okay, if you stood in the line from the back to the front, how long were you oh. waiting? So it, would there, it would depend. It depended, but like there was one time where I the line wasn't even like to the end of how like the maximum like uh, I guess room they would give the line. Like, you could still kind of walk in, and it was still, like, an hour and a half, two hours to play 1v1. Yikes! Yeah. So, like, yeah. on the last That's day, no clock, I man. played... The last day, me and Larry and Mars waited on the line to play four 1v1s, and it was four hours of waiting. Uh, and then after that, I just walked in with, like, Max and D1. I was like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. look at I my Twitter. I don't think I could ever wait in the line for that long. I always skip mm -hmm. lines every chance I, I get. No, Definitely it was... did that at E3. Yeah, because you ain't got no clout. I didn't wait more. I didn't wait. I didn't wait more than 15, 20 minutes in any line I stood in. Yeah, I, I, I went straight to the front. Hey, are you Shofu? I was like, hey, yeah, man. Can I cut in line? <laughs> also, everybody got two games. So whether you were playing one v one or whether or not you were playing uh, uh, free, for free, for free for all, free for all, and there were only, there were not only, but there were eight setups, and they would split it off in half. So only basically. It, it was it was taking a while. So. Yeah, four setups of one v one with a ton of people who want to play one v one, and then the last day because the first day is you know it was two th or two and a half minutes like timed, so like yeah, it, you can only possibly there be there for five minutes. But some people were like, oh, let's let's lab it out, let's test some stuff. So like they used the max twelve minutes they had because it was like three stock six minutes. So mm -hmm. like some people were like legitimately like saying, there, let's test the frame data on this till down tilt. It's probably gonna be different five months anyway. And just like taking up a ton yeah. of time. Yeah. So that didn't help. Yeah. I, I will say, as, as a last kind of thing that I noticed and that I was watching a lot, is that the parry is really good. Like, it's very good from what I've seen. Like, it allows the perfect you, shield? Yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know if it's actually called a parry, but it's basically a parry. You can just <laughs> like the, the perfect shield or something. Like, yeah, the perfect shield is like really good in the sense where, like, I was able to, as, uh, as Squirtle, I perfect shielded something as the guy was playing, uh, I think he was playing Mario, and then I just upbeat and, like, like I just immediately upbeat. I was like, what the, like, this, you, you could basically almost do whatever you want. I, I just think it's a good idea to have that at the end of, like, letting go of shield instead of, like, the initial activation of shield, because people just, like, randomly get a power shield just for, for hitting the shield button. Now it's, like, it has to be more deliberate, which I think is better. Yeah. That's definitely better. Yeah. 100%. The worst shit is when somebody would get off the ledge and just hold shield, and you just barely yeah. mistimed your, your attack, and they perfect shield and punish you for it. That shit was whack. Good stuff. I'm wondering, now that we're talking about it, if they are going to bring this to Evo, because I don't think there'll be a new demo by no, August. No. I think they would end up bringing the one that they brought to CEO. Um, but the more I think about it, I mean, if they brought it to CEO, I doubt they wouldn't bring it to Evo. Did they have I Pokemon think... at Evo one time? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I th I think that you get a another build at Evo, 
Or at Evo, gonna... but I think you, I think you get, I think you get like two to three more characters. I think you no, actually. It's gonna get be the same. Day. No, you're There's tripping. No way that yeah, gonna... I think I think we <laughs> might no get. I think, no way. <laughs> I think you get like like basic characters. Like I think you get. Like, I think you're insane. Oh my god. I think, I think there's gonna, demo. bro. Evo, oh, Evo gonna have like four times the amount of people at it too. Yeah. I think we'll end up having the same demo, but I do think there's a potential for a character reveal there. I know oh, some no. people no. feel like oh, that's you... not gonna happen. No. What? 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 No. I really do because this is the first time ever. No. This is the first time ever in which there is a Smash game that has been announced and will release in the same year since Melee. Obviously, they didn't have like character introduction things during the Melee era, so I do think they're gonna take advantage of it. I think we're gonna get a character reveal at Evo at some point, maybe after like Smash. Uh, they, they don't fuck with Mr. Wizard, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It. I don't know what reality they're living in. I don't Same. think they're gonna do that. Like uh, they're gonna they're gonna bring the if they bring the demo, which I think they would, but I think they're gonna bring the exact same demo because you gotta like you gotta make a whole new demo and like release it and get it out everywhere. Like they're just gonna use the exact same setups they already have, and a character reveal at Evo like that was, sounds really cool, but I don't like that's not really up to Nintendo of America to really make happen anyway. So right, right. I don't. But I, I feel I, like Evo's pretty international at this point. I know if, they have if, Evo Japan. If when did Nintendo ever game revealed game. anything at Evo? That's yeah. That's but this when, is a different but yeah, case. His point I mean, is when did they when did they ever had anything to reveal? That's like Roger's point. Exactly. They've had plenty. And of, man, what? What do you mean? We don't. They first of all, we don't anything during the Smash Four era. Wait, what? Like when would that have made sense? Because like Evo is. No, yeah, I'm not talking about Smash only. It's, it's, There's, it's not like Smash is the oh, only yeah, game in the okay. fucking world. Yeah, but what other game are they gonna have at Evo? Uh, I don't know, but on, if they wanted know. to reveal something at Evo at any time, they could, right? So that, yeah, that's uh, up to them. You get, you get. I think you get a Sagat trailer. Like where, where is the like, actual, like, where is the actual evidence backing this statement up? There's none at I mean, all it's just, anywhere. It's just ever. the thought. What? <laughs> No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I'm just saying I feel pretty happen. strongly it could. I mean, yeah. it could happen. They could also. Release I'm just saying I've heard, I've heard shit like this like, for the last three years. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. But yeah. even I feel like I've heard that exact same thing. Mr. Sentence. Wizard, though, even if they don't mess with Mr. Wizard, I do feel like they the hype that's surrounding Evo is maybe something where they wouldn't necessarily reveal the trailer at evo but we might get like Look, bro. an online pick of the day or something right where then it's a new character and it that, happens to drop what, what i'm trying evo. to say is they don't they don't need evo nintendo doesn't need evo FG, fgc games need kind of evo cool. i mean they don't but reggie even went out of his way to like name drop evo and like a That's... discussion about competitive he said nintendo like, versus evo and the other purposely... evos of the world like i mean there's a huge difference the other evos of the evo world in a sentence yeah, and, yeah that's like... what yeah, I don't well, know. That's why just because that's just because that's just because Smash is there. They don't they don't need Evo as a platform to reveal anything. I know. I, nobody I, is I, saying they need it. They're just saying that. But that's be a cool what I'm saying. To show something. But I'm I'm just yeah. trying to say they're recognizing it. So it's like it's it's obvious they don't need it. But it's like they're recognizing that you know it's it's importance. That's what I'm trying to say. That the Nintendo gets it. But no, they don't need. Basically, this game is coming out in December. We're probably going to have a fall direct, right? We'll definitely have a Smash theme direct to show off all the different features. And what other time would they really announce something? Like Pokemon Worlds, maybe? But Pokemon Company does their own thing, and I don't think they're going to focus on, you know, a, a Sun and Moon Pokemon being in Smash. I think they would end up showing off something related to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which would be coming out in November. And Pokemon Worlds is happening the same time. Well, not the same time. It's the week before or the week after Evo. I don't know. But both of them are happening in August. So I think at some point mid-August is probably when we'll end up seeing the next character reveal. I don't and know so because of that timeline... Week comes out Truthfully. any character reveals until after the game comes out really yeah i don't think we're gonna see a character reveal until the launch or later because they yeah, like what do they stand to benefit from revealing a character before the game comes out like everyone's already gonna buy it right so like yeah, that's not, i that's, mean that's no. not how advertising the hype of a character is always worth it, it doesn't matter uh, yeah right. but why, why would they say that until after the game launches when some people because like it. the thing is when you tell the people that's why other games do reveals like smash has been doing reveals because like every time like we're here talking about pictures on a website characters we already know like right. if you show a new character that's ton more people just talking about your game again and it circles yeah again. I, no i agree but i'm saying i feel like i would say that after launch like when did, like, well, they didn't really... in, his, I mean, in, I in the defense, in the, the, the defense of what parties. he's saying, I mean, they have sixty-five characters, and we know every single one of them, right? Uh, in Smash Four, you know, there were still a bunch of characters they never announced. There's probably going to be characters like that in Smash in, in Ultimate. I'm hoping, anyways. Yeah. You know, we we didn't see Duck Hunt, we didn't see 
uh, Bowser Jr. Yeah, we wouldn't have known yeah. it unless it leaked. Unless yeah, it, yeah. yeah we only saw it because it leaked. We, there, there was a bunch of unlockable characters that we didn't even know existed in the game, or we shouldn't have known existed. But to, as a counterpoint to that, though, I feel pretty strongly we're still going to get one more third party. Whether it's from an existing third party or whatever, and I think it would stand to benefit the third party that is putting their character in Smash Brothers to show that off before the game gets released. Yeah. I think if we end up seeing, yeah. you know, King K. Rule or something, maybe they'll end up saving that as, you know, a, a reveal after the game comes out, like a Nintendo character or someone like Elma, you know, from Xenoblade that wouldn't necessarily stand to really bring a lot of new people into the game. You're going to get a lot of the same hardcore people who play Xenoblade who are probably going to buy Smash Brothers anyway. But I think if, like, Simon Belmont, for example, is Crash in it. Crash Bandicoot. If, no. And there it is. Uh, but, like, Cooking but like <laughs> someone, someone reasonable, like Simon Belmont or Gino or something Simon, like that. Is that leaker guy? Be Simon so, too, so but Simon. I feel like if it is Simon, they're not gonna show off Simon after release. They're gonna want to get that oh, yeah, hype going a, beforehand. Right. Well, okay, then, but like maybe just him. I don't know if they would reveal like. I think a Pokemon's a pretty safe bet too, because I think a Pokemon, think like Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon company, always does their own thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I want Cooking Mama. Because because Pokemon Pokemon Worlds uh, first, I I don't want to say it's weird. But Pokemon, like, regional competitions over the course of a year have dog shit viewership. But every year, they break 100k on Twitch for Pokemon World. Like, and then it's always at the end, and they always get a shit ton of views. So, and if, if they were, if they are like, hey, man, we're having Incineroar in the game, woo! They're like, not going to announce a Smash, what? Bro, no, what? I think so. You're if it's crazy. a Pokemon, I think so. I no, think they're not going to announce it at Pokemon even... World. They'll, yeah, announce, a, they'll right. announce something that has to do with a Pokemon game, guy. They don't even know <laughs> Pokemon stuff at Pokemon. What the World. fuck are you saying right yeah. now? Nah, I think I, I think Y'all pulled very... this, man. Yeah, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> it's very possible. I mean, considering we're even talking about it, but those based two on big what? events are happening in August, it just seems I'm like it is. is like a good time to show it. <laughs> Y'all can't just like, say whatever you want, pulling it out of thin air when there's evidence or in history backing up the fact that it wouldn't have. Like, like, what are you talking about? World Pokemon World has yeah. literally never announced anything that didn't have to do with an actual Pokemon game. They da- they damn sure haven't announced something about no damn Smash Bros. I'm just saying. Man? We're just having fun on this discussion, man. Fuck fun. It's all. It's all. I fun. want the facts, bitch. <laughs> and the game comes out in December, man. Just have fun while it lasts. No. The hype cycle only comes once every four years. I want the facts. Yeah, and during, I can't. Uh, I'm not during... gonna sit here and say. <laughs> you know, never mind. <laughs> no, go ahead. And say, I was going to say some ridiculous ass shit. Announce Goku. Let's go. Yeah, go, obviously Goku. they're going to announce Goku and I Smash mean, because you know. Smash is there and 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 Dragon Ball Fighters is also there. And then they're going to put Sagat during Capcom. I want Heihachi. I mean, it's time. Heihachi would be kind of clean. I'm just saying, though. Like that. Sagat. Okay. I don't know. I mean, at this I'd point, rather have Chun Li than Sagat game, at this so, point. Like, I really, they could put Steve in the game for all I care. They could put the Burger King in. Like, I don't care. <laughs> The, the Burger, Burger King. King. <laughs> <laughs> Burger cheese sandwiches. Clean. I like be it. Clean. Man. Yo, don't tell me Burger King wouldn't be fun. He'd be well, fun. I, I wasn't even. Fire, I'm not man. even I'm saying. Making... I'm not even saying that you guys are wrong. I just want the logic to be more than they could do it, man. They could. They could do it. Like I want. I want something that points to that. I don't want just throwing out something and, and just leaving it there. Like that's all I'm saying. If you think they're gonna do something, I want an actual reason why you think that. Well, since you that like talking sense. about facts, things that we absolutely <laughs> 100% know, okay. let's look at some facts. Let's look at the picks of the day that have been posted for the past week. Because there were a couple things that were posted. Maybe some interesting stuff could come out of this. So let's just go over everything that was shown in the past week. This week, uh, they actually showed off Sonic so far, uh, Knuckles as an assist trophy, and Falco. We don't really need to talk about any of those three things. Um, but last week, in order, they started off on 624, showing off Corrin. Mentioning that he was a downloadable fighter in the previous version, uses all kind of attacks. The male and female versions will both be back. You guys, I'm sure, are excited about Corin coming back. I know I am. I'm sure Etika is happy to have his barefoot waifu there as well. Uh, on the 25th, we saw the re-reveal of Snake from Metal Gear Solid, which, uh, by the way, I guess we didn't really talk about this much a couple weeks ago, but Snake is so much fun in this game. He was fun to play in Brawl too, but actually, he's, see he's him pretty similar. Engine, yeah, he's, yeah. Feels he's, he's, I he's love snake. it, man. Yeah, he's it, snake. It just doesn't feel right that his up tilt isn't like a mile long hitbox. Good. Like, it doesn't no, it just doesn't feel right. Like, <laughs> I want you want that. it to be like a fucking yes. like Palutena up smash. That's snake. That's <laughs> snake to me. <laughs> that's 
I was my hope, that was the first thing that I when I played him at Nintendo uh, Nintendo New York was like how crazy is the range and up tilt? It was obviously nerf, but I was disappointed. Like that, I'm as disappointed about that as the fact that his you know his his buttocks have been toned down as well. Some petition saying. to get the butt to there go back to how it looked in Brawl. I mean, are. Snake was kind of thick. It was. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> how, how do you think the straps stay there without cheeks? They would just slide up and down. It's whack. So you're saying you want the return of, of snake cheeks? You want I'm him to just come saying back. the guy definitely works out. There's no way he he has whack glutes like that. That's all I'm saying. I think they sense. toned it down on everybody though. Zero suit has like way smaller boobs this time around too. So. Yeah, but she had like. I think they just huge, made it more like, family plastic friendly. Plastic boobs, like the last, like they look weird. I don't know. They look very weird to man, me. Man, Samus was hot. Them. I don't know what you're talking about. I man. mean, she's still. I mean, okay. Well, she's like a fictional character. So, like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one thing. But uh, I don't know. That was. I always thought. Not a fan of Lola was, Bunny. I, We've talked no, about this on the show it. before. I think are are you or are you not going to smash Lola Bunny if there's an opportunity no. to smash? I'm a rabbit oh, fucker. Wait, what? No. What? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Hell no, no. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. We've talked about this on the show multiple times. You guys are lying. I if Lola Bunny was right, man, lying. what? I'm, I'm, you're definitely smashing Lola Bunny. You're lying if you're saying no you're not. I'm, a, I'm allergic. Look, the, uh, the politically no? correct thing. The politically correct thing is to say no way, but I know what you're thinking. All right. <laughs> all right. So I come in here and I'm hearing about rabbit fucking again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a oh, rabbit man. fucker. So yeah, we gave Lola the pipe. Yeah. Um, I'm allergic. Uh, no, you're not. You're I, don't know. I don't know if I can sign off on that. Of course you can, not, because not you're being publicly. recorded. Exactly. Not publicly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but later. <laughs> we'll, do the post show. we'll do the post-show. We'll do the post-show. We'll have a full Lola Buddy discussion, man. It'll be great. Um, no, but the next day, we ended up getting something new, actually, on the Smash blog. We got a new piece of music that's a remix of a song from Snipper Clips, which I love. I talked about this on the show before. Uh, and it's going to be added to the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate website. In fact, you could listen to it right now. I am not a huge fan of this remix. I like that there's snipper clips music in here, but it kind of sounded like a cacophony of noises to me. How do you guys feel about this new song? I right, but that's not the important thing. <laughs> the important thing is what stage is this music going to be attached to? Because it's got to be a snipper clip stage, right? To a new st- Maybe they could bring it back on something like Picto Chat or something. It might fit on there, but... Hey, where the link to the song, man? The song is on, if you go to SuperSmashBrothers.com and you just click the little music tab, it's the very first thing that shows So you ain't got the link ready. See, I think it confirms the link right there. I I just got the link, too. Look at you. Mm. That's Noisy Notebook, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I gotta go to the actual video. (laughs) (laughs) Alright. Y'all can, I'm just, y'all can I'm, keep talking. I'm just gonna play the song in the background. I'm not so happy that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so happy we actually have like confirmed new music. Cause, uh, that's like one of my favorite things with Smash games, or any game. It's like, how's the music? And like, Smash always has amazing remixes. Cause like, I was kind of worried. Maybe we get like a new stage of a new song, but like, we have like a remix of like Ryu song or like, Street Fighter songs. So it's obvious they're gonna like a Metroid song. So it's obvious they're gonna go and like just do new music for the game on top of the 600 that were in Smash 4. Pretty I mean, incredible. Speaking what you about think new about music, it. man. All I'm saying is on the Midgar stage, for the love of God, add One Winged Angel. That's it. Like you can't have a Final Fantasy 7 stage and you don't have like Sephiroth's theme on there. there there's something wrong with that. But uh... I want Genova. Yeah. Would be great. I just want more than two goddamn songs. Am I am I tripping or did Sakurai be like, hey, we put this battlefield thing in so everyone will stop playing on four stages? I have all this music. <laughs> no, he didn't I mean, let people ask for it because for glory was literally one stage. He I mean he yeah. said the same thing about Omega Mos in the past, basically. Okay. Was, now you can listen to whatever song you want on whatever stage. Okay. Yeah, he didn't make them all exactly the same, so nobody plays them. One, one kinda... interesting thing I want to note, by the way, really quickly, if you look at the Smash website under the um, the music tab, is you can actually see the logos of each of the game series. So you can see, like, the main theme from Zelda has next to the Triforce, Vegas stage next to Street Fighter. Uh, Noisy Notebook is the only one with a music note. And so I'm wondering if maybe it's just going to be a piece of my music that's thrown on a different stage and it's not actually going to be part of, like, a main snipper clip. Yeah, stage. I mean, I there's no... Yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah. But maybe it'll be thrown on like Picto Chat or Tomodachi Life or something. I can even see this on an Animal oh. Crossing stage. You know what? I think it would so be far all the stage. all the icons also fit with characters that are actually in the game. You know, even the Splatoon remix, obviously the Inklings are in the game, so they have their own character icon, and they have their own stage as well. But obviously the Snipper Clips don't have a character, and it's unlikely that they're gonna have a character. So right. Well, I think what Roger said makes sense because, like, there's stages in the past that don't have characters, but the stages icons like Picto Chat, Pen and Bell, uh, like, uh, sorry, Smashville and Burl. Exactly. They had icons, which is my point is that I think if there was going to be a Snipper Clip stage, we might see, like, a Snipper Clips icon next to it because Han and Bow had its own icon. Um, all the other stages in the past that have just only had a stage in there and no playable character have still had their own separate icons. Um, Okay, so I'm okay. feeling this might be a Golden Sun type situation where, you know, they threw the Golden Sun music in Norfair and uh, maybe they'll end up doing the same thing. They throw a noisy notebook into Animal Crossing or Wii Fit Studio or whatever. I could see this fitting. We've seen the Nintendog stage is coming back, right? That was confirmed? Yes. What fitting in the Nintendog stage? Oh, by the way, Hannonbo, great stage. I hope it comes back. I love that stage. Ooh, man, I love the Electroplankton stuff. It's I, great. I didn't play Electroplankton, but that game, that stage made me want to play it, but then, but then I didn't. So, whatever, but great stage, and I love that it was legal in doubles for, like, the first, like, three months of Brawl, because that stage... Is, is Warrior Wear confirmed? Yes. Woo! Something I actually want to bring up, too, while we're back on the topic of stages, we missed talking about this earlier, is uh, our friends over at Game Explain actually did an interview with Bill Trinan and Nate Bildorf from Treehouse. And something they asked them was, are they going to bring back every stage in Smash Brothers history as they're bringing back every fighter in Smash Bros. history? And they were being coy about it, but it sounds like, no, not all stages are going to return. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we actually heard this at E3 as well, um, that not every stage is going to come back. In stages that we haven't already seen, and that's not very many stages, I think it's only like 14 stages or so, in the history of Smash Brothers, we haven't already seen in screenshots. Um, not all of them will return. So I do really hope that something like Hand and Bow that we still haven't seen yet does end up making a return when the game ends up coming out. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting like Meverse to come back uh, or like Sector Definitely Z because I feel like Sector Z would be kind of like redundant. Um, so maybe that's why stages like that. I feel like Pyrosphere is also not coming back if Ridley's playable. I think nah, I want to fight. I want to fight bad fake Ridley with the actual real Ridley. That I want to happen. So I hope that stage stays. I like the stage other than the lame loser clone Ridley, but uh, I would like to fight him as a hazard with the actual real one. I'm, trying, I'm actually sitting here trying to think of stages that wouldn't come back because I, I honestly don't think. Um... Or at least um, on the 3DS, what was the Kirby stage? Like, the retro um, Game Boy oh, one? I hope that comes back. I love that stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if it comes back, it, it comes back. But, I mean, I am I really wouldn't know, like, which stages wouldn't come back, honestly. We haven't seen the sprite version of F-Zero either. Uh, we saw, like, I think we saw even Mute City in a screenshot, right? So we saw Mute City, Big yeah. Blue, Port Town. So yeah, the only one that hasn't been confirmed yet is the Super Nintendo one from the uh, 3DS version, which I also love. So I, I hope know it they does have, come back. They have Pac-Man in the game, but please take the arc, like the arcade Pac-Man stage. That was so much better. Stage was so fun, man. I loved that stage. Honestly, don't know why they brought back Pac-Land. I mean, I understand why it was probably an easy transfer because it was already in the Wii U version, but Lord yeah, I mean, almighty, it, that is... Like, Pac-Man is, like, different, and it's iconic. But, yeah, the original stage is way more iconic, please. Yeah. 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 I think more people, when you think of Pac-Man, are not going to think of Pac-Land. They're going to think of the Pac-Man maze. So... And there's a cool opportunity there for, like, them to maybe integrate stuff from uh, the Championship Editions into the maze stage as well, if they end up porting it over. Some of the assets to put them in HD, kind of like what they're doing with Magicant. So, it'd be kind of cool to maybe have a Championship Edition and stage. I so, know. I'm not wrong, right? When the Championship Edition, when he eats a pellet, doesn't he start flashing? He does. Okay, because, yeah, I saw that he does that now in Smash Ultimate when he eats pellet, and I thought that was a reference to that, but I haven't played that game. Uh, going back to the pick of the days, though, because we haven't covered everything from last week, we saw on 626... Sukapon, who was also in the original trailer for Smash Ultimate, uh, attacking with his detached fists and feet. Sukapon can pick up opponents and throw them. This is the little guy from Joy Mecha Fight, the comedian robot. 
Uh, there was actually a little bit of a blurb about his game on the Japanese website. wasn't posted to the English one. But it's cool to see him added into there. I know Sukapon has his fans. And then uh, on 627... That boy, that boy fucking yeeted Luigi off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and on uh, 627, we saw Sogaleo and Lunala confirmed as Pokemon. Uh, we actually saw them confirmed at E3 as well. They were in the demo. But uh, pretty cool to see them. Also, I feel like we haven't seen a couple Sun and Moon Pokemon. We saw a lot of Sun and Moon Pokemon at the Pokeballs in the demo. Alolan Raichu and uh, the little hedgehog. I forgot that thing's name. Uh, Lulala and... Yeah, Toge tomorrow. Thank you. Lunala, Sogaleo, Alolan Vulpix. Uh, but we haven't seen Mimikyu. We haven't seen Lycanroc. We haven't seen Decidueye. And we haven't seen Incineroar. So things are looking up for those Pokemon, I think. Uh, on 628, we see the return of Donkey Kong. Saying his charged punch is one of the strongest attacks in the game. In Smash Ultimate, his final smash has been updated from the Conga beat to a flurry of punches. Have we talked about Donkey Kong at all in the demo? How we... Liked playing yeah, we, his Donkey Kong in the demo yeah, a little bit, I think, right? He was playable, yeah. I just yeah, so okay. So when I, now I heard his punch is one of the strongest. Please don't have that stupid back hit that kills you off the top at like fifty. What's wrong with Please. that? There's a lot wrong. Who with actually that. gets hit by that? Uh, he's a combo. <laughs> what? Who the fuck <laughs> actually gets hit by that? Where I've seen so many people die to that, and in turn, you've seen so like, many people die to that. He's lying. Yeah. He's lying. He's lying. You are a liar. Who actually gets hit by the back hit of Donkey Kong's punch mm -hmm. to the point where they say, can you please take that out? You're it's lying. It's like this character can't okay. carry you to the top of the screen. Wait. Okay. Hey, I've, bro. I'm, I'm not probably... projecting. This was from tournament sets with good players. Like, what? Okay. Bro. Okay. When was the last time you saw yeah, someone get hit by that? Rock. I'm saying it's a combo too, but like, it's okay. I'm wrong. Let's keep When was the last time you saw someone get hit by that, bro? MK Leo almost got hit by it. But did he? Nah, nah. I'm wrong. I'm wrong, man. Didn't still. Look, I'm just saying, bro, that's the least of your worries. That's all I'm saying. Yes, the move killing me at 50 from the top. Yeah. All right. Who gets hit by that? Are you serious? <laughs> Who actually gets hit by Donkey Kong's <laughs> back hit of his fucking wind-up punch? Who yeah. actually gets hit by that? Definitely happens, but it's okay. Keep going. To the point where uh, it needs to be removed? Bro, I don't see the me, issue. Quote the me brought up in the chat right now. <laughs> You're insane. Shofu. Huh? Shofu, you said the same thing about that's not no, no 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 we'll that's not that. that's not the same man don't bro why are you really bringing this dumbass comment to my attention like I didn't I'm only bring like it up I did because a lot of people in your chat are talking no, no, about no, no, no. It. hell no that's completely different that was before that was before the game even came out it was a tree that you planted and you had to water it for it to grow and then you had to chop it down that's completely different from somebody getting hit by a, a move that you really shouldn't get hit by that often anyway. That that my, this like, this is this is after years of seeing it that I'm saying you shouldn't point, get hit by. My point is, I think it's silly that the back hitbox sends you up when the punch is supposed to send you forward. That's what I didn't like. That's but who I'm cares saying, if you don't, bro? Fine. You have to like you people. Keep going. <laughs> no, yeah, oh my okay. god, it's fine. What's wrong with him? <laughs> That's your man. Okay, so that, that wraps man. up the uh, that wraps up the pick of the days that we got from last week. But. Uh, Zeph, if you are here, I actually want you to go over something that you talked about in the Discord chat before we started recording. The ballot thing? Yes, yes. Uh, it was just that the Smash ballot, like most people thought, the Smash ballot wasn't actually used for Smash 4. Uh, Bayonetta and all of those characters were planned from the beginning. Uh, and the ballot is probably going to be used for Smash 5. Uh... Which, I mean, they kind of said that anyway. Bro, I said that shit from day one. I said there ain't no way Bayonetta won and they put her in the game right there. When, meanwhile, they got all these damn new games coming out. <laughs> yeah, so that There's means... No way. <laughs> that, that means we're going to see characters that aren't, like, popped about anymore. Uh, during the ballot days, a lot of people were talking about King K. Rool, uh Banjo-Kazooie... Interestingly enough, Daisy, uh, and also Knuckles, who became an assist trophy. Same with Crystal, who also became an assist trophy, which I think is interesting. Uh, just characters like that. Too. Yeah, Bomberman. He was a big one. Right. So That's I right. think just because you were voted high, you you might not be made into a fighter, and you might just be an assist trophy instead. Which I could see happening for characters 
if they want to be crazy, they could pick an indie and they could have Shovel Knight or something be an assist. But I think that would just piss people off more so than Bomberman. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time they've had an indie representative in the game in some form. We had, like, the yeah. Runner Trophy in Smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, like, Assist Trophy? I feel like Assist Trophy is the the second biggest um, form of representation in Smash Bros. Definitely. It's like, yeah. it's like Trophy, Assist Trophy character, pretty much. I'd actually see a Shovel Knight Assist Trophy, though. I'd be cool with that. Yeah. yeah um, I, think well, I, think I think this puts Sora even more into the, like, limelight. He was, he was very talked about in, uh, what was it, 2015, I yeah. think? Yeah, and now he has the new game coming out, so there's there's that, too. I I, I think it'll be interesting. Also, he and, does have Nintendo representation, so I think that kind of adds a bit more to that because of uh, three games he had on Nintendo, which were Chain of Memories, uh, re or not Recoded. No, yeah, Recoded and Dream Drop Distance, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he has more games on Nintendo systems than Cloud does. So. This <laughs> does this does more good for me than bad, honestly, because I'm a huge, huge Geno advocate for Smash, being hit for him being in Smash. It's, we talked about this a little bit on previous shows, but it does seem like, you know, they threw in Inkling and Ridley this time around. It seems like this is going to be a fan favorite kind of roster. They're bringing back all the characters that obviously got votes during the ballot, right? Wolf yeah. and Pokemon Trainer. I'm sure even Pichu had their own little demographic before. So to see everybody come back, Snake, of course. You know, uh, actually, uh, it, this this ballot thing now, um, he's not here, so I'll say it for him. I think now Isaac has a better chance, more so than like ever before. Because, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's becoming. I think I would do, would you consider him like a legacy Nintendo character now? What now that his yeah. series is dead and he's kind of just adrift. Just a little bit before the show even started too, that maybe the retro representative for this game might be somebody like Gino, right? Yeah, because Gino is would a fan be perfect, favorite character. Probably. His franchise is dead, but he has a very strong fan base. Uh, he's technically third party, but at the same time, they're clearly working with Square to get Cloud in the game, and I do feel like. It would be easier from a licensing standpoint to put Gino in there than Sora, as cool as Sora would be. Um, and I think that would appease a lot of people. Gino was already a uh, costume for the Miis in the previous game. Not Ash just that. Tickling. He was almost in the game. Uh, I think, tw I, I don't quote me on this for Brawl. I believe Sakurai wanted him in, but he couldn't. And also in Smash 4, he said he was very close to getting him in, but he couldn't, which I assume is Square. But now that cloud is in, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't think there's a limit on third party representat representatives. Like, there's no, there's no real logic backing the fact that we can't have multiple Capcom. Like we do, we have Mega Man and Ryu. Uh, people have that weird stigma about them though, where it's like, oh no, uh, Snake's in, so we can't get Belmont. Or, I don't know. I think it's weird. I it's think like we could get Sora and Gino. Too. Yeah. I think we could get Sora and Gino. Um, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts, finally, for the first time. I'd like to see Sora. He's, he has a cool moveset. Yeah. We, we didn't talk about this at all in terms of what happened last week. Um, but one of the runs that I watched at Summer Games Done Quick, run through, where the guy beat like Kingdom Hearts at level 1, and it took like 3 hours or something, but he got mm -hmm. through the entire game. Yes, yeah, the level 1 that was 1.5. No watch, man. Like, I'm yeah. not usually a huge speedrunner kind of person, but I was getting some editing done. Uh, there was a, a really big One Piece chapter that came out, and there was some other stuff that I wanted to edit. And I sort of had it on in the background when I was doing other work. And man, like, that game is a lot of fun to watch, speedrun. And it's been such a long time since I went back and played Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, man, Sora would be awesome. Yeah, the, in the Smash Kingdom Brothers. Hearts speedruns are some of the best speedruns they do every year. Like, it, it, they're so cool. There were a lot of them, I feel like, this year, too. Did any of you guys watch Summer Games Done Quick? Yeah, I didn't see the. Yeah, Kingdom I Hearts watched run. a bit. I didn't watch a lot of it. Uh, I don't know why, but I didn't. They did like Mario Odyssey. The guy Mario beat the Odyssey game in like an fire. hour and a half. Yeah, it was so good. Mario yeah. Odyssey. Um, Odyssey speedruns are actually really easy to get into. I recommend it if anyone has ever yeah. wanted to try that. Yeah, uh, but, oh yeah, I found it. Yeah. I, I found the quote. It no, it's still. I, th I think it's like an hour flat now. So I wouldn't uh, be surprised. Yeah, yeah, around there an hour. But uh, I found the quote right. for Gino. Sakurai said he wanted him to be a playable character. He think he would fit in uh, with Smash. And then during Brawl, I thought it would be great if I could add him, but he didn't become a reality. So 
He's common. He was one of the few characters, too, that he brought up even back in the day when they had the online blog for Melee. When they were talking about people submitting in their own characters for Melee, he did specifically bring up Gino and said that there were a lot of votes for that character. So he's been thinking about it since Melee. Again, he seems like a fan favorite character. The time seems right for him. I, I still think like we're not going to get a lot of newcomers this time around. No, I, I, I think we'll get a lot of Sakurai DLC. Says. I think we're going to get a lot of DLC, and I think on disc... We'll maybe only have like five total newcomers, like including Inkling and Ridley. So I think maybe yeah. like Gino K. Rule and uh, like a Pokemon, you know? I think um, K. Rule is a lot of Echo Fighters, even on disc. I think we're going to get like Isabel over Villager, Dark Samus over Samus, uh, um, Dark Shadow Samus over Sonic. Character. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. See, you, you said Shadow over Sonic, right? Now, w one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people are. I, I, I could see Shadow being an Echo Fighter of Sonic because, I mean, truthfully, he can replicate everything that Sonic can do. But at the same time, it's like Shadow has, like, his own, like, unique moves as well that could make him a unique character. Like, he has a gun. Yeah, same with yeah, but so I does want, I want gun. Shadow with yeah. two guns and a motorcycle. Who's to say that, who's to say that would... I don't want it in my game. It might be a talk. It have to be his final shadow. smash, man. I, I, you can have his final smash. No, I want to know why. No, 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 no. Shadow. With chaos people, control. People chaos are saying blast. this about Shadow, but Pit, uh, Dark Pit from Kid Icarus uses a completely different weapon, and his moves are completely different from Sora, but he's an Echo Fighter. I don't think that matters. Sora? From Sora? Did I say Sora? Yeah. yeah. I meant Sora, Pit, yeah. sorry. I was, I, was, uh, I was reading something. I said so. My bad. But yeah, Dark Pit uh, has completely different moves from Pit. Yeah, but Dark and... Pit's lame. What? what? So Shadow. <laughs> No, Shadow yeah, ain't lame. Shadow clean, boy. Are you crazy? Oh, no, nah, hold on. No, no, wait. Oh, no, no. You on your god? You, but you by your goddamn self right now, buddy. Shadow is way Shadow cool. clean as hell. Now, like that I think Dark Pit's easier. cool too, but well, hold on. Let's not bring Shadow into this like that. It's crazy. Shadow is <laughs> I think, nautical miles cooler. I think one thing with Shadow at the least is that when he was a, when he was an assist trophy, we saw him use a completely different move. He used the Chaos Control in both Brawl and Smash Four. So it'd be kind of weird if they brought him back as an Echo Fighter and he couldn't do that or couldn't well, do that. No, I mean, well, I, think, I, think, I think the argument for that, though, is his final smash, right? Because yeah, yeah. if you look at Dark Pit, Dark Pit doesn't have the same final smash as Pit does. Pit has the lightning chariot, and then Dark Pit has, like, the, the arrow that goes across the screen, the, the purple yes. one. So you want Witch yeah. Time and Chaos Control, Wild. Yeah. So yeah, you're, about, I don't... You're, about to have a, you're about to have a shitty version of Bayo's final smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. I'm just saying, like, I, I would just like to, I mean, I would just be fine with him in the game in general. You know what I'm saying? But, again, like, if they have the opportunity to flesh out Shadow, again, like, give him Chaos Blast, <laughs> Chaos Spear, or uh, yeah. something, I, I think that'd be cool. But, no, I mean, if he gets I, a I just, good, I, he needs a good skating animation is what he needs. He needs a I good skating know. running animation. Yeah. I believe that if they want to flesh out another Sonic, a playable Sonic character, I don't think they would pick Shadow. Yeah, you're getting Tails. No, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I think behind <laughs> Sonic Shadow is one of the most popular, so I think it could happen for Shadow. Yeah. Real quick, too, uh, while we're on the topic of Echo Fighters, I was talking about this on Twitter a couple days ago, and I brought it up earlier during this discussion, too. Uh, I was looking at characters that were removed as assist trophies that are really popular characters that I also know would have gotten votes during the ballot, and the one that really stood out to me is Isabel from Animal Crossing. Because obviously that is a huge franchise, but there aren't a lot of things you could do with an Animal Crossing character. And realistically, the villagers' move set, uh, the pocketing ability, and you know, floating with the little balloons, you could easily throw that onto Isabel and keep them relatively the same, while maybe changing up the final smash instead of being building a house, make it like a town project or something. And I think Isabel has a really strong fan base. I mean. She's basically the face of Animal Crossing at this yeah. point. And Animal Crossing is a big enough franchise to warrant having two characters. But again, I, I don't see them making an original move set for her. So I do think that her chances are pretty high as an Echo Fighter. See, I really wish I we'd did... get Fighter or Tom Nook, because I care more about those characters. And Tom Nook would be like OP. Isabel, not so much. People seem to think, like, so you know how we haven't seen, like, Ashley or, or Isabel and all of them? People are saying, oh, they just haven't shown them yet. Like, the same logic could be used against them. Like, they, what if they weren't shown because they're being used for other purposes? Like, just, just try to use your fucking brain for a, a minute. Just one minute. 
it's totally possible that Isabel's an echo fighter because I can perfectly picture in my head every single animation that Villager does, but with Isabel instead. Right, exactly. They're, exactly. They're the same build. See, that's, that's why Dark Samus doesn't make sense to me, but I feel like Dark Samus will be an echo fighter because they got, well, it seems like they removed Samus's Dark Samus like alt color. They replaced yeah. it with like a yeah, black and gold. Uh, which I was sad about. I mean, I love the black and gold. It looks really cool, but uh, the Dark Samus color was cool. But Dark Samus doesn't fight anything like Samus, so I don't know. That'd be it would it would feel very weird. Like doesn't stand like has all these like really crazy like AOE moves. So to have like you know, Dark Samus as an Echo Fighter, I guess makes sense. Like just in a Smash like kind of way, but Metroid wise, like doesn't make sense. So, I, I just don't think it needs to make sense just because. No, you're, yeah, you're right. Like Dark Pit. I think Dark Pit's the perfect example. Whenever, whenever that's brought up. Because he should have a totally different moveset. There's no reason for him to actually be that way, but it yeah, takes no effort to, think to do about. that. It is weird to think about, because you think, like, really? You're, of all the characters you'd want to throw in, Dark Samus? But realistically, like, Dark Samus' Phazon abilities would make for a really cool character. Yeah. And, and really, Dark Samus is, like, the only other major character in Metroid you'd probably want in the game anyway. Uh, that would work, so... I mean, yep. Metroid really doesn't have many, like, good reps other than, like, Samus and Ridley, so... Uh, dude, add Silex. Uh, I guess Silex would be cool, but I, he would be actually sick with, like, the electric moves, but he's not, like, super important. Yeah. Definitely not... No, definitely not Adam, definitely not Anthony, or Kraid, or something dumb like that. Have we seen Brinstar Depths, like, the cool rotating one from Melee again yet? No, I believe... I believe no. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure we haven't seen that. Hope that comes back. That would be great. You're talking about Kraid. That would be crazy in HD. Yeah. Especially we've with that have, remix of Prince Star Depth we just heard. Yeah, exactly. That would be amazing in Kraid the background of that cool stage. would cool as hell in HD. That makes Chris. By the way, we didn't bring up during that music discussion earlier, um, is that I think there are a couple other confirmed tracks that have not yet been posted to the website that we've heard in some of the other trailers. So the website has the main theme from Breath of the Wild, the Vegas stage from Street Fighter II, uh, the new Brinstar Depths remix. We have Bomb Rush Blush from Splatoon and Noisy Notebook from Snipper Clips, plus the main theme from the game. Um, but Young Link's character trailer has a remixed version of Termina Field, which is not the same one that was in Wii U. And I know, because I went back and I re-listened to it, it's like a cool new version with guitar and stuff. So that's the track we can expect. It's a new track. And additionally, in the Diddy Kong character trailer, there's a new track that sounds like it's from Donkey Kong Country as well. So Duck wanted Hunt to bring that up. A, kind a of new remix. Or a remix, finally, because they never remixed the Duck Hunt theme, but he had one in his trailer. Really? I got to uh, go back and listen to Village, the first Ask Best Zelda. Village, Village's trailer also had a new uh, Animal Crossing remix. See, now I got to go back and listen to all these pages and listen to all the new music about a lot of stuff but i know there are a lot of fans who are eagerly anticipating the viewer question segment so if you haven't already submitted your viewer questions you still got time to do it uh we're going to read off some of them from the website and i think the page for that is teamjapantime.cool slash podcast slash questions as uh, you could submit your questions either on discord or on twitter and then they will end up showing up on the website but the first one i'm going to read off is uh, from the same guy who always submits questions this is from nate allard aka arcade and blog on twitter I submitted a question. He says, you know, sometimes people make it seem like the Switch era has been nothing but a disappointment. You have the Nintendo Switch painful launch video that Crow B Cat made. I don't know who that is. You have Shofu calling arms and poke and garbage. You have Roger saying Mario Odyssey is not going to age well. I'm called Breath of the Wild a garbage Zelda game. You all have this drama concerning the price of ports like Mario Kart 8 and Tropical Freeze. And people are still complaining about the current state of Nintendo's online system with voice chat and all. It makes me think that we all think the Switch is garbage, but we don't want to admit it. I do not think that's what? the case at all. Who said because that? Like this, so I, no, I no, I know, no, no. I know exactly what they're talking about, too. I, I said once, um, but if the world ends with you on the Switch is full price, it's fucking stupid because it's a DS game from 10 years ago. Like, I, <laughs> just because I think that doesn't mean I think the Switch is a garbage console. I have, like... I'm bro, did you hear what he Switch said? <laughs> he fucking combined all of our... Bro, I said two in two games in particular. One of them, which is on Wii U, were bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I think... But I, he's, I he's, combining that, he's combining that with what seven other people said, though. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> I get that. I get where he's My coming from. No, fuck that. 
Because we're all mentioning things that we don't like, and ultimately you need okay, to Okay, but what about all the things we do like? like? He only mentioned yeah. the negatives. That's, what are the things that we point. like? Yeah. That's <laughs> my point. That's my point, definitely. Is I think there's a lot of stuff that we lo- like. I love Xenoblade. I've, I've been fuck? in love with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, the Octo Expansion's amazing. I think there is a lot of cool stuff. Oh, Octo Expansion. We didn't talk about that. That's so good. It's so good. Well, I think we'll hold off for a couple more weeks because I think it's kind of spoilery when we get yeah. into the good stuff. Um, I think a lot of people but, have been saying that the Switch is like their favorite console of all time so far, and it's only been out for a, a little over a year. So there's definitely a lot of. I see more positivity surrounding the Switch than negativity. Yeah. To be I've said oh, yeah, it's just Twitter. the potential, you know. I've said on Twitter that uh, for the longest time, my favorite Nintendo console has been the Super Nintendo, and now it's the Switch. The Switch is quickly becoming my favorite Nintendo console of all time. Same. I, I just love being able to take it on the go. And you have yes. all these other games yeah. on there. Once you have Smash on them, plus like Xenoblade and the world ends with you and Pokemon, it's done, oh, man. Mario it's Party. Done. The Switch is amazing. Oh, Mario. I forgot. Mario Party. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually took my D, uh, my Switch out of my house for my flight to CEO for the first time. Like, it, I just left it in my house forever. And I I was like, this console's godlike. Like, like I was yeah, playing fucking... I was playing Quest on my flight. I was like, this is god. I was like, Kirby too. I was like, okay. Yeah, I was, uh, experience that, you know I saying? never ever used it undocked, right? Like, for the longest time. And I was like, okay, guys, I gotta stop playing because I gotta go downstairs and do some shit. And they said, why don't you just bring your Switch? And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot that I could do that. That was the same <laughs> thing with me and Zelda. Because I remember, like, when the Switch first came out and I had to go back home uh, to my hometown. I brought the Switch with me, but I'm, like, in the mindset of, like, you know, like, it's a console game. Like, crap, you know, I can't play till I get back to my, uh, to my house. I was like, wait. It's right here. So, yeah, y- y'all got to, like, respect the potential of the Switch. Like, Absolutely. the portability. Yeah. I also think people hear people talk negatively about games because there's parts of the games you didn't like, which is fair. But then they forget, like, those games still sold well. Like, Arms and Pokemon still sold really yeah. well. But people yeah. I, people just hear, like, oh, I didn't like that game. So I think, oh, that game must have not so- must sold terribly. It must be ter-. Like, no, those games Not even just well. that. It's It's, like, even if you mildly criticize something about a game, the first thing that people fucking say is, oh, so you hate it. Like, what? That's what I'm saying. Man, I've had this conversation way too many times. Yeah, I hate that <laughs> shit. It's not the case at all. Yeah, I, I think I speak for everyone when I say we love the Switch. I, I also think it's probably my favorite Nintendo system of all time right now, too. And it's only been out for a year and a half. So once we have Smash and a new generation of Pokemon and stuff, it's over, man. I don't know why. It's over. I, I... Not good, good, my love. No, I, I mean, there's nothing else I was going to say. I mean, I love the heck out of my Switch. It's yeah, well, amazing. Switch too. It's yeah, being able to take console. it out anywhere, like, dude, that, like I, this Wednesday, I'm going to be in Santa Monica. I have to help my girlfriend with the photo shoot, and I'm not going to be doing anything. I'm not taking pictures. I just have to be there and help her, like, with some of her costumes. You know I'm bringing my Switch with me, sitting on the beach, <laughs> playing a console game. Like, that's going to be amazing. Looking at the beach and all these cute cosplay girls while I'm playing Xenoblade. Like, incredible. It's, it's incredible. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, talking about the Switch... So, <laughs> the um, the newest Splatfest was just announced, and yeah! it's it's literally a race war. Yeah, what is it? It's, it's octopus, octopus versus squid. 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 Uh, what? It's time. <laughs> Choose wow. your side. Choose your side. That's literally a race war. I'm ready. I'm what cool with it, fuck? man. I'm voting for octolings, man. The octolings are cool. I think this means that Pearl is kind of crazy because I know. Out. I know Pearl's gonna pick Octoling. I just know it. Oh, you think it's gonna be reversed? Do you think Pearl's gonna get Octoling? Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna, gonna happen. Just, just in case, like, I think it would help uh, if if Pearl picked Octoling and Marina picked Inkling, it would uh, it would bring down the race war thing just they a little that, bit. They did yeah. that with uh, Callie and Marie in the first platoon, right? Where Marie chose yeah. Callie, and Callie chose Marie. Okay, but yeah. if either of them pick Octoling, they're a traitor. <laughs> what? But now everybody. No, not anymore. anymore. Wait, is Marina is an octoling. Yeah, yeah. Marina is an octoling. Is she really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Octolings yeah, yeah, and inklings yeah. are friends now. Oh, come on, man! You don't that... know the lore. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I turned on that game and went straight to the multiplayer. Like I got it. The fuck? Octo expands your chance man. when you get it, man. It's really good. It's really good. Okay. Matt, we're talking about it more, and I'm just like, I really want Octolings as an Echo Fighter now. <laughs> like, really badly. No, that's a costume. That'd be, dope. It'd be oh, awesome, dude. 
I don't even think you need a. We've seen all the costumes. Variant. They're all different. Uh, they're all different Inkling costumes. No, I'm saying I, it's a it's a it's a DLC costume. I don't think it needs to be. I mean, they have the exact same moveset. The same. No, but game. like I get what War Champ said. Like when you yeah. really look at the Inkling, they're all Splatoon one stuff. Even like you mentioned, Killer Whale is not in Splatoon two at all. So like all the Splatoon two weapons they added, like there's potential with all of those. He's lying. I think if you look back at Dark Pit, right? Dark Pit's using completely different weapons than Pits, but even though the moves are the same, they're just doing the exact same thing. But it's like. You could do the same thing with the Octolings, right? They use all the same weapons that the Inklings use because a lot of those weapons still transfer over to Splatoon 2. And you could just make them look a little bit different. I, I see no issue with putting Octolings over Inklings. And the Octolings were still present in Splatoon 1. They weren't playable, but they were still present into the game. I'm ready for this, this race war. All right, bring it on, man. Bring it on, Splatoon. Uh, all right, well, also... The guy who asked that question asked a second question, so Nate wants to redeem himself. He says, here was my other question. Uh, a while ago, I read an interview that Sakurai participated in. I can't find a source of it, but I remember the interviewer asking Sakurai, whenever Nintendo debuts a new game, franchise, or character, do you think to yourself, I'm going to put that character in Smash? And Sakurai said no. He said he always sees the current Smash Bros. he's working on as the last one he's going to make. But what's your take on this? Do you think Sakurai is being wise holding off on newer characters? I, I don't yeah. know if I can speak for you guys. I think yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think yes, but I also think that that's like literally every time Sakurai makes a smash is the last one to say that since Melee. <laughs> like, I think he always just goes to make the best game he can make and not think about, oh, what, what am I going to do next kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it now. is. I, I think he's the type of dude where it's like, we need to make this properly and perfectly or just not at all. That boy lives in the present, man. That's, that's why I, I don't think. That's why I don't think we're gonna see. I okay, we're gonna see Rex and Pyra and Mithra 100% in the game as DLC or something in some form. It's just the reason why I don't think Springman is gonna be in is because he hasn't. He even though his game sold a million copies, I don't think his game left a lasting impression on Nintendo's fan base. Not yet, anyway. Also, like, I think it has possibilities, like, a new Nintendo IP, like, Splatoon was the first new one in years, and like, oh, here's another new one, kind of thing. So I think, I don't know. I If they're making I, ARMS 2, then yes. I always just I like, do. you know, I like the thought that characters represent either consoles or, like, periods in Nintendo's history. And, like, ARMS is, like, a new thing that represents the Switch, like, the now kind of thing. I still feel like ARMS could be in there as DLC. I feel like that yeah. seems like such a basic DLC character that, like, they would absolutely do, but I just think would be too new to be in the base roster now that we know when they were putting this together. I don't know. I feel like Springman and Rex and Pyra are just like, ready like, to go. I feel like Springman would definitely be in the regular roster. I would agree with you if that whole 2015 thing didn't happen, because it's like, <laughs> imagine paying $5 for Springman. Who? That's what I'm saying. I'm definitely not about that. <laughs> that. I'm definitely. That's, that's exactly my point, though. It it's yeah. a new character. You're gonna do it. Me, I mean, what if there's a possibility? No, no, no. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna buy them. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, why the fuck is this character even for sale? Like, I'm obviously, I'm gonna look buy at, any DLC that comes with Smash at all. But look know. at Corin, for example, though. We didn't know who Corin was before. You know, they were added into Smash Brothers. They were brand new. They were in the new Fire Emblem game. We knew nothing about that character. And then, then they ended up looking cool, and it was like, I'm going to buy them. Yeah, but that's, that's neutral, that's though. You're neutral on a character you, you've never known about. But I got, I got plenty I of buys against point. the Springman already. Yeah, <laughs> but like I said, I, I really feel like Springman will be part of the regular roster. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree, only because, I mean, Sakurai has been kind of like sporadic, I guess is the best way of putting it, like when it comes to character or certain characters in the game, right? I mean... One thing we know is, like, when he put Greninja in the game, at, at the time, like, X and Y was, like, barely in development. And they were just like, here's his character. Like, he looks cool. Make a move set for him or something along no, those lines. the thing is, is that Sakurai made Greninja. Well, yeah. Th that's what I'm saying. It's like, I mean, it, for all we know, it, this could have potentially have been uh, something like they could have hit him up and be like, hey, look, we're coming up with a uh, new game called ARMS. This is the main character, Springman. We would love to see what you do with it. And for all we know, like, he might actually have Springman in the game. We just don't know. But um, even at that, like, as a, as, like, the newest Nintendo IP in a long while, 
Like, I would definitely see him being on disc instead of DLC. But, uh, I mean, I don't know, like, how everybody else would take that. But I would just like to see him in the game just overall. I'm trying to think. Does Splatoon 1 come out before or after Smash 4? Splatoon 1 came out before. Yeah, no, I mean, after, after, after. Was it, wait, was it after? I swear it to God. Yeah, wait. Splatoon 1 came out in 2015. It came out Google 2015. Right here. Google right here. It oh, it did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, came out in 2015. Yeah, because yeah, I'm trying to think. Why did I think ARMS it was is like out? the first I, 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 Nintendo IP that's out before the next Smash I, 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 I could have sworn that Splatoon 1 came first. I don't know why. That was that was weird. Yeah, it came out a couple. Well, months they were at the same E3. That was E3 2014. Okay, that, that was Splatoon. Maybe that, uh, I, yeah, that might be it. I I don't fucking know. That was weird. Um, let's see. Nick Gallo fourteen says, "Are there any archetypes you'd want to show up or be fleshed out in Ultimate?" Personally, I'd want a Grappler, and Incineroar would be a perfect fit. As of right now, the only characters with true command grabs are Bowser, Diddy, and Ridley. Bowser being the closest to a Grappler. Uh, can I got, can I say something real quick? Wario? Okay. Wario's right there. Can I can I say something about Pokemon and Smash real quick before someone else says it and pisses me off? Please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. D please God, d don't say we need Decidueye or Sceptile or some other motherfucker. <laughs> nah, that's because McDerrick is right have... there. McDerrick don't say it. Go ahead, McDerrick. We don't have a final oh, form grass start. <laughs> oh, we don't. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We have Ivysaur. It's over. Incineroar is in the game. That's the end of the I conversation. Never, I never understand why people think That's typing so <laughs> oh, is considered. Man. We need an Alolan Pokemon because there's no Alolan Pokemon in the game, man. I, I think I mean, we, we are going right to right agree there will be an Alolan yeah. Pokemon. The game yeah. development started in 2015. We're definitely going to see... Yeah, I think it's going to be... Incineroar. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Incineroar because that's Masada's favorite and he probably went to Sakura and said, Hey, man, I got the perfect <laughs> character for you. To be fair, Incineroar in his own game is like a fighter, you know? He's like a dirty fighting wrestler, tiger mask kind of guy. That's yeah. So he, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was gonna say, I pick a lot of hills to die on. This is definitely not one of them. <laughs> the, uh, the, um... I, I, the I know how you Pokemon players be thinking, man. <laughs> the problem with me for grapplers is that the fact that, especially in this game where especially power shielding is so good, like, and shielding such a centric to smash like you're shielding way more often than your spot dodging which would be the counteraction to or a button to a to a grappler like that kind of in, in a general sense so i don't know if a true grappler would be in the game because i feel like it would just i don't know i don't i don't know how it would play considering all the defensive options that smash has as a game but man ridley's in the game what else do you need <laughs> drags people on yeah. the ground i can mash out of that though Let's go. I think grapplers Only are also like a very difficult archetype to balance effectively and make fun to fight against. Yeah. Because it's just like when they get in and they get that one punish, you feel really shit because they just body you. It's like, That's why I think Incineroar would be fine because he's not a conventional fighter. Like he 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 uses underhanded tactics and stuff. Well, plus, like, you like, have a like... lot of ranged Pokemon moves, too, right? You can do, like, Fire Blast or Flame Wheel or whatever. He has that move where he spits fire out of his belt or whatever. Exactly, point. exactly. Yeah. I, I just really hope they really want to do a grappler type. It'd be cool to see it fleshed out, but don't don't make it like Smash 4, where it's like, I grab you three times and that's your stock. I don't, like... even think he, I don't even think he'd be a grappler, honestly. No, he doesn't have any good. moves that point towards that. His, his two signature moves is one is a lariat and the other one that is a body slam. That doesn't matter, man. Come on. You know that doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I'm just saying he doesn't you have to know be damn well. Like, Curiously. Go. Well, now we're talking about Incineroar, so I, I think this would be a fun topic to have. Like, what do you think Incineroar's specials would be? Like the neutral, the up B, the down B, uh, and the side B. Uh, down B would be lariat, be probably. Them. Neutral B. No, Moonsault would be his final smash. Yeah. Uh, neutral B would be the fire spin belt thing. Uh, I don't know what his side B would be. Maybe some kind of tackle. I don't know. But did you say his Z move is gonna be his is his final smash? Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm pretty like, sure Malicious Moonsault would be the final okay, smash. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely, yeah. 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 Especially with the like the way the final smashes are now, there are cutscenes. It works perfectly for uh, Malicious Moonsault. Literally, you just poured over the Z move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Could, yeah, and it would work side in his final smash. Could be like a like circle throw or something. Could be like a moving command grab. I think like yeah, yeah, or something. 
a counter, just like all the other characters. I don't he think better, he'd, he better not have a counter. I don't think he'd have a counter. Can he learn counter in the games? Probably. I'll go check right now. Let's or it's either that or reversal, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Even nope, there's zero out of zero results on uh, Bulbapedia. Get the counter then, all right. All right. Is it reversal? <laughs> Let's see, reversal. No reversal. What the fuck? Wow. Well, What's it, I'm, I'm curious out. actually right now. Let's look at Incineroar's moveset on Bulbapedia. He is like Throat Chop, which is a new move. Yeah. Be clean. That would actually be cool as a move. All right, so what move is Greninja's F smash? That's uh, yeah, I was well, say, we're talking about specials because Greninja's specials are actual moves, right? There's a Shadow Sneak, Hydro Pump, Water Shuriken. Yeah, those are all. I'm pretty sure every Pokemon's special moves, except for like Squirtle, maybe, are based on Squirtle's actual. Squirtle's got moves. Water Gun. Squirtle's got Water Gun. Um, Waterfall. 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 Waterfall right? yeah. What's well, a side B? Is what I'm. I'm. A withdrawal. That's that's withdrawal. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. rapid. I thought it was rapid spin. Nah, it's withdraw. Okay. Every, uh, all three of the Pokemon trainer Pokemon now have, uh, stab moves for all of their specials. Yeah, I think Pikachu's the only one. Because he has a move called Thunder Jolt. Or some stupid Not shit. A real move. So I guess Pikachu is, as well. is just standard B, right? But that's yeah, basically Thunder Shock. I don't know why it's called Thunder Jolt. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of them on here. Fire Fang, Double Kick. Flamethrower, Flare oh, Blitz, out Oh, Outrage! Are y'all still talking about Pokemon moves? <laughs> Here. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. Um, Anything else? I'm pretty happy. All right, let's, 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 let's go. Let's, let's take a look. All right, let's get into the viewer <laughs> question on here. Uh, Winter Trolls says, what game modes would you like to see come back from previous Smash games and what new modes we'd like to see implemented? I feel like we've talked about this every single week about the tag mode and yeah. break the targets coming back, so we'll skip that. Um, wait, wait, wait. real quick, um, race to the finish. I wish they'd bring that back. I really like. I that. would love to see that back. Lo love that and board the platforms. Uh, Spoderman two three four says, with Ubisoft's president's recent comments saying that there are more surprise collabs with Nintendo coming, what do you guys think of Rayman's chances at this point? I think Ballot Rayman is so... very high. He's a valid yeah. character, and he was a trophy. Like specifically, he signaled out in the last game in a direct. So I think he's a very high chance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in just because of the ballot shit, and they're on good terms, so why not? Yeah, and plus his last two games were good, like on Nintendo systems. I think I think a rabbit might be playable too. Yeah, I, I can, if we can only have one. Oof. Please, Rayman. Please. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, I, mean, I want to see it. Like nah, I want to see it. I want to see the outrage. Let's get a rabbit instead. Yeah. I, I actually, I, I'm Team Rabbit as well. I think a rabbit would see be the, funny. Let you me have, get like, Rabbit Peach. I do not give a not shit about rabbit. Rayman or any of them. Just let me see people get angry. That's all I want. So let, let Rabbit Peach be an assist trophy. Nah, let Rayman be an assist trophy. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yikes. Disrespectful. Imagine if Rayman was an assist trophy and the rabbit was playable. I would playable. die laughing. <laughs> I, would, I would too, man. The internet would outrage. Fault says, think that they'll bring back Palutena's Guidance or Snake's Codex in Ultimate? For yeah. sure. I was thinking about this. I was, I was doing all of Snake's Codex on stream recently. I want to say almost that they won't record new ones for old characters. They'll only record ones for characters he's never seen before. I agree. Yeah, that makes sense. I really want to know what the Ridley one would be. That'd be sick. I, I want to know, would they do another type of thing like that? Like Callie and Marie? Talking about characters, or if they add some other character. I would have said, was... I would, yeah, I would have said if there was an arm stage and we had an arms character that we would have had Biff. Yeah, he said that because Biff. The other thing too is you don't have to record any. I guess you don't really have to do that for Splatoon either, but like you don't have to record any dialogue for that. Biff is just like bah, 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 whatever, and then it yeah. says something about the character. So I think if Springman's in it, I would be shocked if Biff did not have things to say Wait, about the so... different characters in Smash. And those Nintendo Directs with arms, Biff wasn't that deep voice dude? Yeah, yeah, that was Biff. Actual game. Was like, no. An actual game. It's not some deep voice dude. It's what just like a weird... Yeah. Yeah, you just like... Mumbles. I don't want that. I don't want that. No. I want the DF... Hey, fuck arms. Yeah. Arms trash. <laughs> and it doesn't have Ridley, so ultra trash. 
I actually am pretty excited to hear like what the snake codec for Ridley and Inkling would be. Or even for some of the characters from Smash 4, I think it'd be kind of funny. I want yeah, to know, we... know, know what it is for Bale. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's some characters. Pretty That's a bad bitch. Oh, yeah, Snake was, Snake was weird with Samus. He was talking like... Snake, Snake some, said some weird shit about Samus. Well, like, he was say some bad shit about Bayonetta. Right, she called right. him me, but she could still get this D. I mean... <laughs> okay. That's what she said about. That's what he said about Samus, right? Uh, snake codec yeah. for uh, the snake codec for villager would probably be pretty funny if they end up going like the psychopath villager route, where it's like you know, Colonel, what's up with this guy? And he's like, don't you know, be careful, snake. Villager will chop you in half with his axe or something crazy. Ah, uh, let's see another one. Oh, Mega Buzz Buzz on Twitter says, "Hey guys, so I was watching CEO this weekend, and I knew Viram was good, but Tito was nice." I never knew he was as good as he was. Figured he'd just be ass, but most commentators. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, in his de- in his defense, in his defense, I've always felt like a lot of Smash Four commentators are not good at all. They're just the best we I got. Agree. <laughs> okay. So that's a compliment Mega- coming from that man, bro. Absolutely. Mega Buzz Buzz goes on to say, when he and Virum casted together, that was dope. Who are your favorite commentators, guys? Me. D1 and Virum. Or D1, Virum, not yeah, Virum. Virum, D1, EE. That's about e, it. Man. Yeah, EE, man. I like playing me. I was like, TK oh, yeah, EE. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, I just like EE, Doom, and, 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 who did I say? D1. Yeah. Uh, D1, Doom, and Coney. Oh, yeah, Coney. I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. I think yeah. Coney. Oh. Coney's actually my favorite. He's great. I haven't heard him in a while. A majority. Actually- how are you gonna compliment me and roast me in the same question? <laughs> he didn't even roast you. He said he thought you'd be. Uh, he said so he, he thought didn't... you were gonna be bad. That's all. That's uh, kind of a roast. Man, thing. look, man. But that's not that's uh, not his fault. That's everybody yeah. else's fault. <laughs> look, man. There's, there's plenty of there's question. plenty of dick ass Smash cards. I, I had to commentate 85 sets where niggas were like, "Yeah, I'm Mario Main 43," and they play Captain Falcon. Like, I'm sick. <laughs> Uh, Majora X on Twitter asked, going into Smash Ultimate, do you see Nintendo being more involved in the scene? I have hopes for similar to yes. other fighting games. Also, head-ass people get upset because people taunt and want it banned or trash. What? But they brush their teeth once a week. What? Sensitive. What? Bro, why are you, why did you, you even, do why did you even oh, read that? Can you please read these before you... Right, like, what are you doing, Roger? <laughs> I anyway, would just stop uh, Nintendo being in the scene. Um, <laughs> I don't think they'll do anything other than slap their name on the shit and run ads. That's well, all they're going to do. I think Reggie said in an interview, they they are not really interested in running their own circuit, but there was a community circuit they would support it. Wow. Cool. Uh, I, I guess. I don't... I don't... <laughs> cool. Right. cool. What was the second part of that question? No. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> something, I don't know. Uh, Paper S1 says, here's my attempt at a decent question. What do you all think of the idea that Nintendo's going to attempt to go esports with Smash Ultimate? Since Smash Ultimate you has just read the same question twice. Yeah, question. Roger, what are you no, doing? Where's the list of? It's slightly different. No, Let me it's keep, basically the same. That, it's basically no, no, no. the same. It, this is different. It says right here. Ultimate has elements of the competitive scene in mind, with now Battlefield, Omegas, 1v1 damage, stage selection first, etc. Do you all think Nintendo will stick to how they help the competitive scene currently just by tweeting out events by sponsoring tournaments? See, like... Worded differently, that's why I continue to read it. I think you can get different stuff from it, at least. But, like, all I would say is, a lot of times in Japan, for a lot of games like Pokken... Yeah, Pokken has stuff in America, too, but, like, Japan tournaments for Pokken are, like, actual tournaments. So, like, Pokémon gets a lot of support from Nintendo in Japan. Arms had a circuit in Japan. There's a Mario Aces Open in Japan. So it'd be nice to see like Nintendo do stuff like that with Smash just more often. I think, you know, that that would be interesting to see. Uh, Connor eats pants on Twitter said, "What sort of alt costumes would you guys like to see in Ultimate? With Meta Knight getting Galactic Knight, Pikachu getting Libre, and Ridley getting Meta Ridley, the doors have now been more open than they ever have been in the past." Um, so are there any things that you would like to see as costumes and not necessarily Echo Fighters? Anything. Mr. O, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, Mr. Yeah. O would be a really cool one. Mr. O would be sick. 
I was going to mention, because uh, we actually, I don't think, have seen any alternate colors for Olimar beyond Elf, is I think it'd be cool to have, like, the President and Brittany and Louie and all the other little astronauts from Pikmin is thrown in there as alt costumes for Olimar. I think it'd be kind of cool. I didn't even know. They might as well do it with all the other characters, kind of like the Koopalings. Uh, oh, yo, Miss Pac-Man? Miss Pac-Man? I was literally about to say Miss Pac-Man, I'd be down for that. I, I think oh, it's kind of weird that we have wedding Mario, but not wedding Bowser or Peach. True. Yeah, that true. is true. And I forgot, uh, Armored Mewtwo would be kind of cool. Yes. But... I think that's the ultimate pick, Armored Mewtwo. Yeah. Like, it would be great. Uh, I always worry about Miss Pac-Man, because she's a different character. It's technically like a different thing you have to copyright. Even though it's just like a oh, yeah. of lipstick. Also, I'm also down for more uh, more Pokemon trainers. I want Gary. Like, I want, I want to be able to use Gary. I want, I want, I want Brendan. Give me Sorina. Give me Jimmy, bro. Who's Ooh. Jimmy? <laughs> y'all, y'all didn't. Uh, uh, Jimmy's the um, Pokemon trainer for uh, Gen Two. He's, he's... Wait, what? Oh, gold? that's from the anime. It's Golden. Oh yeah, it's from the anime. Anime. I was gonna say. Who in the world is Jimmy? I didn't know. I, 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 we were Jimmy. all thinking it. We were all. We were all quite. As... See, <laughs> all right, man, Jimmy, okay. If you want Jimmy in the game, Jimmy for Smash, man. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy, <laughs> Little <Smash>. Jimmy man. <laughs> uh, I think that's good. Are there any other viewer questions you always want to ask? I, I mean, there's a couple more in here. Ende said, uh, what about Team Ultimate Final Smashes? Mario and Luigi with the Team Final Smash, Samus and Ridley, or maybe surprise mishmashes like Dark well, Pit and Lucina? Samus and Ridley wouldn't team up, so that wouldn't make any sense. But Mario and Luigi would be cool. I say more than that. I want more characters when they beat another character to talk shit. Like, I want more, like, cross-interaction. Like, that's one of the coolest things with, like, the Star Fox characters. They beat each other. They always say something to the other one. And, like... You're all for I love those references. And I feel like they, like, miss a lot of opportunities to do more of those. It's... I think it's just because... A lot of characters don't have somebody that they would do it to, so they limit I mean, it to like, Star Fox. Even Mario do, yeah. could say something to Bowser. Bowser could say something to Mario. Like they could. They Bowser could. Mario doesn't, doesn't talk, talk, man. What? Bowser, well, yeah. No, Mario does say what though. He could definitely say like so. Like he said what so the? long. He said like you could get to Mario sixty four. He said like so long, Bowser. Like he's like stuff like that. Like they can do little things. Okay, Bowser. I don't, I don't know. Final. <laughs> it's weird. Final question. I'm gonna read. This is from Cheers Two M. And he says, and I, I think we all agree on this, but I'm going to read it anyway. Do you think Sakurai is going to give in and put in Waluigi? No. 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 The answer is no. 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 He better, he better you not. really read that? He's going to, I think he's going to double down. I think he's going to double down. And I think he's going to ban Waluigi from being anything but an assist trophy for all future Smash Brothers games. <laughs> and even when Sakurai dies, he's going to put in his will <laughs> that whoever the next person is who takes over the Smash Brothers franchise should not put Waluigi in the uh, game. Honestly, though, like, Waluigi's too tall. Like, it, you know, like, it wouldn't make sense. Like, you have to shrink him down. Hate, oh, you have to shrink him down. It wouldn't be Waluigi anymore. So, like, you really, like, you got, if you shrink him down, like, it wouldn't be like no Waluigi. I, I hate Rapture, yeah. So you really can't oh. have him. He's too, way tall. too tall. Way too tall for Smash. He's tall. also too purple. Way too tall. His proportions are all weird too. Look how fucking lanky that boy is. He was so he'd be broken too. Like that frame one jab that grounds you. Like, come on, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. He has. A, he actually just has a racket. He doesn't even use his hands. He just uses so, a racket. I will say that it did tilt me sometimes when people are like, "Oh, Ridley's in the game. Come with Waluigi." And like, at least Ridley's a real character that does yeah. stuff. Waluigi's like, a base. Like, I just, I just reread it. A couple days ago, I just reread the Metroid manga. Dude, Ridley is a cunning bastard in that manga. Yeah, he, he like he's... literally called the cunning god of death from the manga. Yeah, he's he's not like Ridley's... a stupid dinosaur. Yeah, it's Samus's parents, and then like points in his stomach to baby Samus, like, "Where's your mommy? Where's your mommy?" It's crazy, yeah, he's, man. Yeah, he's pretty nuts, but that, I think that's pretty cool that like the trailer kind of references that because the games really don't reference a lot of like stuff that happened i mean the manga came out after the you know that came in like early 2000s but yeah. that part of ridley's not really in the games which has always been like one of my least favorite things even though he kind of shows like it's like hints of it here and there but yeah the, the manga is really good and i definitely recommend it to anyone who uh hasn't read it before because it's actually really good i'm pretty sure I out of like all of the main nintendo villains ridley is the most evil 
he's I think he's like yeah, actually yeah. evil. I mean, Definitely. You know he's evil too, but he's super evil. I love like, that in one of victory in one of Ridley's victory animations, he kind of smirks right at the end of it. Yeah. And to show that he is intelligent, that he's not just like a screaming dragon. <laughs> yeah, but the games do show. I mean, he leads the raid on Norian in Prime 3. Like, he, you know, he, he just tries to capture the, the baby Metroid. So, like, he wasn't entirely dumb. But, yeah, like, I think Smash kind of pushed the dumb Ridley thing. When he shows up in Brawl, he just, like, screams, like, like, uh, like that's not really what Ridley does. Um, but Ridley has such a good arc as a villain, right? Like, he's so, like, he thinks he's, like, the biggest shit and has tons of confidence and, like, super cunning. But, like... He's the reason he died is because he created Samus and who ends up killing him. So I think that's really cool. He's a super, is a great villain. That's why he should have been Smash. Yeah, or, and I, I don't think Ganon's more evil than Ridley for the people in the chat. No, Ganon's not. playing fucking definitely ping pong good. with the magic ball against Link, while yeah. Ridley's eating Samus's parents and taunting her about yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, and Ridley does speak in the manga. Uh, he speaks clear English. Superhuman healing abilities and stuff. You know, he uh, well, he has to eat other biomass to like regenerate, which is what most people think is how he keeps coming back every time. Is because he, I don't know, they probably fed him some like like fetuses or something. <laughs> like, <he grows laughs> That's crazy, back. man. You got a bad guy eating fetuses. Meanwhile, Ganondorf is just trying to feel the wind on his face. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you can find the manga online, by the way. Whoever in chat, like, you can just search Google. It's readily available. Yeah, I guess Pig like, Ganon's kind of evil, but still very available. Not really, but it's still. Ganon. I mean, it's still the same iteration. Yeah. Right? It's, it's after he transformed yeah. in the Link of the Past uh, timeline. So he's already Ganondorf still. Mm. It's not even just that like Ridley is evil. It's more that he's like he's like psychotic. He's twisted. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Like he's chaotic he's about it. Ganon isn't chaotic. Like he's just he's like lawful evil. Well, yeah, he's, he's really smart. Take like, over the world and, yeah, like he I want to take over the world and fight Link and the Triforce. Ridley. Runs around space killing people. Pirates. Yep. Yeah, that was like Epic of Villains, real quick. I just I want to bring this up because somebody said it in chat. And we were talking about Echo Fighters earlier, so I kinda wanna give your opinion on this. Um, it does seem kinda likely that maybe we'll get like an Echo Fighter for Ryu, either Dark Ryu or Ken or something, or Akuma. Uh do you think that's a possibility and maybe that would end up being like an Evo reveal or a fighting game? I think game Akuma would be sick. Like uh having a flaming Tatsumaki or something, that would be cool. I, I, the thing about Akuma is that Akuma doesn't play anything. Well, I mean, he's a Shoto, but like his yeah, air he, fireballs, like he's not. He doesn't play like Ryu. So, like in, if anything, I think you get like Evil Ryu, but even Evil Ryu doesn't play like normal Ryu. Yeah, like, it would have to be Ken because Ken would have to. Ken would be great. Ken would be great. Even, yeah. even Ken it's weird because Ken fun. doesn't. Ken doesn't play like Ryu anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, has, but you can just have stuff like, almost. like fire strike, yeah, fire it's, it's close and stuff like that. Fire Tatsumaki. I feel like Ken would be a kind of young Link or Pichu esque clone where most of the kit is the same, but he has a few different normals like he does in Street Fighter rather than an Echo Fighter, per se. All right. There you have it. Uh, I think that'll wrap it up. We actually had a pretty long show for this being like a comfy time, little only. We have half the cast, yeah. but a lot of guests ended up coming in, and then Viram obviously joined later, Tito joined later too, so. Yeah, overall, I think we answered a lot of questions this week. We're going to try to wrap this baby up. Anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap up? I'm, I'm good. No? So in uh, in Discord order, let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at McDareth on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. How y'all doing? Um, you guys can find me on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter at Indicuba. Um, I know y'all probably don't know how to spell it, so it's N D U K A U B A. Ain't okay. nobody timing that in. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I also want, I want to call out. We were backstage at the Invitational, and I never knew how to pronounce Endukuba before. And oh, so I was yeah. like, <laughs> and I was like, Yo, Endu, 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 could you record this for me? And he looked at me. He's like, My name is not Endu. And I was like, What? And, and you couldn't hear in there because people were like talking loudly. Yeah. And I was like, What is he talking about? Like. Dude, I've known this man for like two years. What like does he think I don't know his name? Like, what's going on here? And then afterwards, I was explaining to him afterwards, and he, he finally understood. But like that was yeah. such a that was such a weird moment. I'm like, dude, I know who you are. Like, I was so <laughs> lost, but I couldn't hear, so yeah. It was crazy in there. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go. Uh you guys follow me on Twitter, uh, at the rapture underscore if you want like just Ridley stuff and stupid memes and whatever. That's pretty much it. 
Uh, you can find me at Rogers Base on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. And tomorrow, I actually have a video that's being uploaded about my roster predictions for uh, Smash Ultimate. So it's a pretty safe video, but still a lot of fun to record, so check that out. Uh, okay. Uh, Tito KMF on Twitch and on Twitter, and uh, yeah. Oh, wait, are we wrapping up? Yeah. yeah, we're literally ending now, Mike. Ooh. It was a pretty good episode. Ooh, okay. Where do people yeah. find you, Mike? Nope. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> 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 That's cool stuff. Yeah, that you can find Mike at TeamJapanTime.cool.